fighting and you go on nice. House of Eleven. They're catfishing you. Shaka. Beyonce. Soon you'll be flying to parts unknown. 90 day Beyonce. Marrying someone you've only met on your phone. French or Chinese, a brand new K1 visa, the key. The key to what, Poodle? To love. <laughs> it's reality game, let's love. Oh. Hello, Washington, D.C. Hello, D.C. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, Whoa. sir, are you coming to see me? Oh, hi. Oh, wow, got a big strapping man. Ap after the show, big fella. Look at, I see a lot of dick pigs in the audience tonight. Hello, yes. everybody. And oh. I see a lot of trade. There's uh -oh. some, there's some trade, there's trade, trade, uh -oh. trade, trade, <laughs> that, straight, everywhere. That, for straight people, that means poodle, people poodle wants to fuck. Yeah. Just yeah. so you know. Um, just so you know. Unfortunately, I had to make a slight deviation to Poodle's playpen. It uh, was supposed to be in this area over here, and I was told it would not... Uh, the the uh, petroleum jelly fountains that I wanted installed... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ...did not meet city code. Yeah, it did and not meet city code. But, no. sir, there's more than time to talk about more, what we're going to do after. More than... Thank y'all for coming out tonight. This is Washington, D.C. If you, if you brought your pet fox, you need to leave. <laughs> who brought a lobbyist who I can fuck? Uh, yeah. I just told, a, spend time I just told a D.C. joke about a fox. <laughs> you did. That is very topical. Fox, and, you know, and maybe somebody, in, one of our special guests tonight told me about that. Who's here to see Peak Shade? Mary Payne and Aaron, y'all. Y'all, very excited. Also, for some of you who may have heard, um, we had we were visited by Miss Kova and the bat from Wuhan. We were. Um, we were. So we're shitting virus we're shitting. all over you. No, we're, we're not, not. Seriously, we're, ne we're negative now or whatever. That's our, not even our, funny. Our, our viral load is gone. That's what it's called. <laughs> and we're just raw dogging you with air and breath. We're excited. We're here. Um, We're here. I'm, you, you, sound, you're, you're sound, you sound much better than I do. You I'm sound still, like a drag queen. I still have this, yeah. uh, this kind of COVID creaky voice. Yeah. So if you hear me crack a couple times tonight, it's, you can judge me for it. But um, this venue, the city this winery is, is so nice. Right? Y'all are like, what? It's nice. Yo, this is nice. We've been playing in some dumps. Looks like a meatloaf video out here. Yeah, I know. I like you can just sit your arm down on the stage, just like, hi, just rest. I love it. Whose lap can I sit on? No. Or no, your no, shoulder, no. sir. You, right there. You did that in Seattle, and it did not go well. That, that man, that man literally touched my waist when I sat on him. He did. And yeah, you, you, you did bevel. His, wa his wife kind of looked for a minute. He, she was, then, she, then she immediately got her camera. She did. She did. And I was she like, did, this did. is weird. It was weird. Anyway. Um, we're, so, we're so happy to be back <sighs> off of our COVID excursion. And, you we guys, are. we're happy to be in our nation's capital. We are. I have not been here since I was here in the seventh grade. Oh. Um... And I met lobbyists that time. That's gross. Gross. That's gross. You were seventh grade. I was wise beyond my years. I came here for the. Y'all remember Prop Eight? I came here and did the Prop Eight march in Washington like ten years ago. It was fun. Did you get it repealed? <laughs> well, kind of. Yeah. Good for you. Good for me. Um, Good for me. But anyway, it's it just can't. We can't help but think about our relationship to America. It's our relationship true. to being American yes. and our 90 dayers kind of relationship to being Those America. Wonderful uh, 90 day America. Americans. They're so, such good examples of America. Yeah, and truly. And weirdly, it's, they, they, we want to salute them, really. We want to say, do. give such a big thank you to our loyal 90 dayers who always make us say, I'm proud to be an be American. American.
Ooh, I love the lights go down. <laughs> Top Square! <laughs> Finally. You surprised me here. Your first bowl of American cereal? Crap. If tomorrow all the things were gone, I worked for my life like my Dodge Dynasty. And I had to start again with just the kids and the kids of Dan. Well, I, I thank my lucky cigarettes to be living here today instead of Nigeria, baby. Because those... Those underwear, they stand for freedom. And Michael, get that cake away. Get it away, Michael. And I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. And I won't let you ruin my wedding, which is fine because there's no such thing as a European dream. And I gladly stand up for you. And then I have sex with you and fuck you. Cause you're porn gritty. Cause you're porn gritty. I'm American and I do American porn and I love it. I love it. God bless the USA. USA. Get your ass back to your poor country. Reunite with that family. Go to yours. I don't want Louise to use oh, this Rosacea for a pathway to citizenship. She picked me. She picked the United States. Why don't I write you a check and buy your plane ticket back to the Dominican Republic? You bring me here, are you? Like a lot of Ukrainian women just try and get a guy to get them to America. Many people think that Americans are so stupid. There'll be no condom use, and I will teach him the American way. Worst case scenario is she comes back in a body bag. America. I'm gonna feed them all rat poison. Yeah. Now say the I'm an American. I'm <laughs> proud to be an American. Where it leads. And I'm gonna draw dog that guy every time. It's the American way. And I'm glad they're gonna stand up. But not right now, I'm really tired. So you lazy. You lazy. Lazy America. There ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the Okay, shout out to our sissy Christina who made that video. I, I may use that last Angela thing as my ringtone the rest of my life because I laugh every Angela, single time. Okay, now, y'all, when, when we, were, we were talking about what are we going to do for DC, something patriotic, I'm like, no. <laughs> Because it really um, is. The Americans on 90 Day Fiance oh, are usually the but, worst. But the thing, They're the worst. We, but I, so we, I, I kind of had the idea, and I, I told Christine, I'm like, can you do that? Can you put a bunch of terrible Americans, and we're going to sing Lee Greenwood? Um, and she's like, kind of? And we came up with a script, and she did it, and it surpassed everything that we thought. It was wonderful. So... Appreciate that. Happy about Christina. Coming to you every 4th of July now. Y'all. Um, anyway, that's our little... That's our little salute to America. But with that, I think... That is let's the, fir this is the first, first video we ever did. Oh, wait. Well, together. You've done, a, true. You've done a lot of videos. <laughs> we don't talk about them. Piano Cat 77. They're usually pay-per-view. Yeah. Um... Oh, but yes, it's our first video. And it's early for my video. Yeah, it's early. Um, we but should probably... We're going to do the podcast. Let's jump into the podcast, the podcast. everybody. Let's do the podcast. All right. I'm All showing right. you my butt. I'm sorry. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. You don't mind. Excuse me. It's fine. Excuse me. It's fine. It's fine. Um, okay. Oh, it's so comfy. I love a good couch. 
Oh, I like this. Lounge. Nice. Lounge. Nice. Did, okay. Nice. Did any, I got to tell a story real quick. Did any of y'all see me on Good Morning Washington this yeah. morning? I was there too. We were supposed to be together. I was there too. I. You didn't see me? Yeah. I told them that Jake was still in the air. Bitch overslept because she has to wear earplugs when we go to <laughs> hotels. And they wouldn't give me the room number because I didn't get it from him. And the hotel wouldn't give me. So the hotel called him three times. I texted. I called. And then we had lunch today with, our, with Jack, Den Mother Jackie, who's here tonight. She's here oh. tonight. But uh, she said, you should have done a home health check. Can you imagine if I had them bust in on Poodle in the hotel and just start slapping him Wouldn't away? be the first time. Anyway, he overslept slept, and I just had to carry it myself. Um, I knew you'd be able to do it. Uh, yeah. I was actually, I don't sleep the first night in a, in a new place that well. And I was started watching The Ultimatum. Uh, we're going to talk about that later. I don't have that much to say. We're going we're gonna to talk about it. But the most important thing is, if you don't know the concept of the show, it's these people. It's, it's a step above feeding Christians to the lions. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it is the people who've been trying to get, th been thinking about getting married for a while and dancing around it or staying together. And they're gonna, then they're going to say, here, try this other person oh. who may be better for you. I'm excited. Let's tempt fate with our relationships. Yeah. So it's like Temptation Island, but worse. Um, anyway, sounds most, perfect for us. Most of these people are in their 20s, and all I can think of, this is no stakes. Would you want to be with the person you were with when you were 23? Hell no. That's and I'm true. like, show me, show me a 37-year-old woman who's been with the same guy for eight years, and she oh, knows know his her. family, she's and he's like, yeah, I'm not ready, and she's like, that, that would... That was this woman named Janice who used to be my yes. man my manager at Sephora. Those are and stakes. She really Those eight are years. stakes. And you know what? They're still engaged. They were together eight years, and then they finally got engaged. Now they've been engaged for seven. And she still wears bad eyeliner, and she was a manager at Sephora. That's what I don't get. He's, he's looking to get murdered. That's what I don't get. Um, anyway, all right. We're, we're going to be talking about that. But more importantly, I want to bring on... Some two special guests. Let's that we bring have. on our special guests, everybody. From the inimitable, entertaining, funny, inter uh, uh, intriguing. How are words going? Other for in you? words. <laughs> the co beautiful co and talented. COVID brain is real. COVID brain, y'all. The beautiful and talented Mary Penn Gilbert and Aaron Martin, Aaron Martin from PK Podcast. <laughs> There they are. Woo! Hi. We'll hug like a talk show. We'll hug like a talk show. Yeah. We didn't just see Money you back Money can't buy your class. Money can't buy your class. Into your microphone. Elegance is learned, my friends. Elegance is learned. Oh, yeah. The microphone is on. Money can't buy your class. Let's do this. Is this on? It yes. is. Y'all, this is so it, exciting. This is your first little live show, isn't it? Thank you. Thank yes. You. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I like, I've never done, I really enjoy this venue. I've never done it in a place where people are eating. So I keep wanting to check in and be like, what you having? Did you, did you get enough of those fries? Did you share those table fries with everybody? You oh, share your fries. table fries, y'all. Oh, Poodle will come for you. If we could Come send table fries, metaphorical table fries, to Ukraine, things would get okay. better, I promise you. All right. All right. We, we can make we Ukraine don't. jokes, just, right? No, we can't. You already it's had a, you guys each had an order of balls backstage. We yeah. did. Balls. The risotto balls. And I had the risotto balls. Yeah. <laughs> but um, That is a gross that's gay a gross Vegas joke. joke. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you for being here. We've. We've guessed it on your show. You've guessed it on our shows. It's been we, a big orgy. Y'all, Mary Payne Without and Aaron the are those people that I call and say, Poodle's lost in an alley. I have to do a podcast. Well, why don't you do this with me? And that's who 
and vice versa. That's vice right. Versa. That's right. Yeah. Aaron's had a mental breakdown for the third time. <laughs> <laughs> We need you to co-host with Mary Payne. Yes. Yeah. Everybody's always willing to jump in. It's such a great, it's a great podcast community. Nobody's like g- competing, really. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Those are your waters, by the way, on the uh, table. Here. Oh, thank okay, you. Awesome. Do you mind that we brought our fans? No. Bring no. Your fans. Okay. It's hot. Okay. It's, hot. It's, it's already hot, and I'm sweating like Whitney. <laughs> it, you are sweating We're going like to start Whitney. with a blazer and end with a sports bra. Yeah. <laughs> so I have... So go go ahead. Or well, well, first of all, so y'all been doing this for how long? Real quick. We're going to talk about Nadia, but real quick. I feel like Dick Cavett. Yeah. That is an old wow. reference. No one knows who that is. Current like references. two people yeah. got that. Current references yeah. only. Current references That's right. Only. Yeah. We've been doing it. Well, I've been doing this since 2017, uh-huh. which is like the before times. Yeah. No shit. That like nobody remembers even, including me. Because I was writing for Reality T, which was kind of a big blog back when blogs were a thing. Yeah, oh, some hey. people know that. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Well, of applause. Few people read Reality T, so I did a bunch of recaps over there, and I was like, right on ninety day, and then Love After Lockup eventually, oh, and people so were like, good. "What is this?" We got and Lalu like, fans in the house. Love. It's so good. I mean, the best show on television, women's entertainment television. It's true. Which is not TV's. just for women anymore. No, it's not. It's not just for free people either. <laughs> so I was doing it um, basically as a writer, and then I got on, I just was asked to be on the Jenny McCarthy show on Sirius XM Stars, and so I did that mm-hmm. for a couple of years while I was still teaching high school. So that went well God. together. Yeah, a lot wow. of F words, a lot of talking about uh, a lot of things. And, then and I'd that's be like, not hey, Jenny McCarthy, kids. that's school. Hey, kids. Yeah. yeah, that's right, that's right. And so out of Jenny McCarthy came the podcast, Pink Shade, and then came my friend from the internet who I met on the phone. <laughs> Just like a Fine girl from the internet. Because you were doing Pain in the Pod. Yeah, I was doing Pain in the Pod, yes. And so I reached out to Erin and said, before I started Pain in the Pod, and said, I was a fan of her podcast. I said, I'm thinking about starting a podcast about podcasts. You know, and then she kind of told me how to, what she thought and how I should go about it. And I got a producer, and she was my first yeah. guest because we were already friends. And then we did a meetup in May of 2019 in Los Angeles to go see Countess Luann's show. That was the first time we'd ever met in person. Darling. Yeah. And, uh, darling. And we just were like, oh, okay, now we're best friends. So we should start a spinoff podcast. We did. We started a Patreon only. Yeah. Then the pandemic hit, and we decided what we really only wanted to do was Hey Bunky, our spinoff. And we didn't want to do our other stuff anymore. So then we just joined forces and became Pink Shade instead of Pink Shade with Air Martin. And here we are. And where did the name Pink Shade come from? It came from my head. Um, I, I was going around and around and one of my really good friends at the time was the designer for the logo. And I said, I just want a cartoon version of myself. I don't want my actual face on anything. And it was when I was <laughs> more, much more of a brunette than I am now. We're turning yeah. into the same person basically. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and she did this great logo before I even had the name and I loved it. It was just pink and black and white. And I thought pink shade just for like, and you, had, shady. And, and you had sunglasses on. Yeah, it's a great name. And so it kind of came from the graphic. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You both are turning oh. into Darcy before the night Days season two. Um, well. That, oh. Or maybe season three. They, yeah. Tell them what you're wearing. Would you like to tell them what we're wearing? Well, Aaron uh, brought this to me as a gift. I am wearing uh, Stacy's engagement ring. A from, replica. From Floria. Not the real one, but it's pretty close to probably the same price. I know yeah. my expensive ring. <laughs> I am wearing Darcy's ring from Georgie. Not the first one, the second the one second that one. she paid for. <laughs> right. And I paid I for this one. On you paid for I that paid one. for this one. Yeah. Oh, wait, are they, is that real and you paid for it? Oh, I paid for it on House of Eleven. House not of Eleven. Oh, oh. Hashtag not Shout an out. ad. Mm-hmm. So, did, did y'all see too now that, did y'all know Darcy just started her own OnlyFans? <gasps> There's going to be no nudity, yes. right? She no. just started on, literally like, all of your husbands right now just went, really, I didn't know. <laughs> didn't know. Is there sidle? Like, I, sidle? I, I know, because she's already showing side boob on TLC. <laughs> I don't know. What else can she show? I don't know. Hmm. We, I don't buy it that there'll be nudity. I, I can't don't, imagine. I don't, I, It'll I be don't so heavily filtered, too. I don't, I don't imagine Daddy Silva being a fan of that. No. No, but no. we've been on Nip Watch for Darcy for like five years. Five years. Five years. So have. maybe this is the answer to Nip Watch. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe True. so. Yeah. Nip Watch. Nip Watch. <laughs> I'm still on it. 
All right, shall we? Shall well, we, ladies? Let's just, wh what we're here tonight, let's talk about the mess that is. The mess, the <sighs> glamour, the uh, unri unri unbridled enthusiasm before the 90 Day Season 5. Um, this, we just this season is done, y'all. We're we finished. Our, well, there's almost, one more tell-all next almost. week. Why no? But, but yeah. uh, we're, we're kind of talking about that final episode tonight before the tell-all. Um, we'll talk a little bit about the tell-all, but uh, more about... Okay. And I just wanted, we wanted to start with saying, you guys, what are your reactions to this season? We started out really strong. I thought it was great. I thought yeah. it was a great season. It, you kind of forgot there's a whole couple that just dropped right out of the show. <laughs> <laughs> you really did. It I is forgot. I totally forgot. Somebody mentioned them. I was like, was that this season? It's yeah. been going on for Caleb, so Caleb, long. Caleb walked out with those joggers and <laughs> Littlest Clan member just slithered right. away and without anybody saying hi. So, she just yeah. went away. Yeah, nobody's nobody's seen them again. Um, no, he, he's doing his best work on the on the Instagram. He is in his Lululemon. Uh, See, yes, y'all keep Lula up with leggings. It, you keep up with Instagram more than we do. Kinda, yes. kinda. Yeah, he's still rocking the Lululemon. He he's was mad the, he wasn't no, on the tell-all, right? No, he's Lululemon. 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 The name of Lululemon. No, it's Lululemon. Lululemon. Okay. He's, yeah, with like the hamburger on the vagina, oh. yeah, pants like those kinds. Oh. So he's still rocking those. <laughs> yeah. And he absolutely is trying to get everyone to notice how much he is not on the tell-all. I don't know if you guys follow his Instagram. If you don't, just keep, uh, not, no. just keep not following it. Right. I'm just here to tell you about it. He was in a car, like, with some bomb blowing up or some, like, grandma knocking at his door, green screen behind him, and he's like, me, just chilling inside, looking at everyone el else out, making fools of themselves on the tell-all. And I'm like, Ooh. excuse me, sir? <laughs> excuse me? He's sad. He yeah, wanted to be really a star. Yeah, it's really sad. And then he wrote like a long paragraph below it, and I was like, "We don't need the paragraph. You just wrote something little in your grave." So it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the only the only thing he was ever going to be famous for was him saying, "I kind of like don't know what to do with you. Do I like pick you up?" And all of us thought it the same. <laughs> well, don't forget when he got the, don't forget when he got the carrier for her. Um, he did get a carrier for her. But, there's like, I have friends and family here tonight that don't, don't watch the show. They're going, don't, what and, are they talking and I said, about? I She's said a this, little person. He was like 6'4". I said this, I said this on, the, on the podcast. I think I said it on a live show. When they're like, so I had a lot of good time with you last night. And everyone, even though you think, you, you may say you didn't, you wondered, what the fuck did they do? And all yes. the shit, did, was he like picking her up? Yes. and. Yes. Was it like yeah. a Cirque du Soleil thing that was happened? It, was it was or was it like a Nicole Jr. kind of thing from Lalu? Rest in peace, that's, Nicole that's, Jr. That's, that's terrible. Rest in peace. That's terrible. Rest in peace. It's terrible. <laughs> Into it's too soon. The West. Anyway. Oh. So yeah, I like that was Jake gross. didn't because he never liked Jake. Jake says he hates the show, but then he'll talk about it. So I know he likes it. Yeah. So he won't admit it. But I liked this season too. It's actually. good. I thought it was good. I, it's good. I, I liked, liked it, it until like three episodes in, and then I was like, oh, it was more of the same. No, um, but don't. You, aren't you guys oh, shocked see, that like Memphis and Hamza came <gasps> out to be? We're like, oh, we love them. Well, here's all of a sudden. Here's it the is thing. all of a sudden. Here's the twist. thing. It was the goofiest stuff at the very beginning yeah. for them. And it was such a change, because we're going to talk about this tonight. His line of, uh, what do you say? Big boobies. I am yes. I'm a body without her, heart. I am a body without a heart. I went, here's, <laughs> here's the deal, though. I had to change my She thought, I she, <laughs> yes. The basement flooded. That yes, it was any, very beautiful. Any woman, I mean, he's right up there with Ziad now for me. Oh, yeah. which yeah. is, which is a feat. He's a pretty crier too. Pretty. Hans is a pretty yeah. crier. He's a pretty yes. crier. He's a very handsome. He's man. got the lashes for days. It turns yeah. out she didn't need to go poopy. She was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she was having stomach problems. She was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Migo pregnant. We're, we're, Migo pregnant. Migo pregnant. Migo pregnant. Migo pregnant. Migo pregnant. Migo pregnant. How about when she told him she was pregnant, and then she said, so, you know, the baby will <laughs> come out? <laughs> I was like, that's not how it works. I've had a couple. That's uh, not. It's, 
Yeah, there so is, is she. A, there is a level of absolute no subtlety to her. No. And it's and it and it's yeah. it's and it's bracing for the camera, and it's it, it's because you think that it's. You, I just want to say you first thought that it was just she talked to him like he was a kindergartner and she was kind of abrasive because she they. Remember, they don't speak the same language, but they're married and they have the, they're going to have a baby. Just I that. can't read this. But <laughs> still, my favorite quote from but from this. Season. She's just abrasive. It's not that. It's that she's just that way. Um, she's, but yeah. I mean, talking like Jar Jar Binks to your fiance. No, no, no. <laughs> it's it, she does talk like Jar Jar. No, so you sign no so, prenup. Yeah, miso so, yeah. pro, pro, pro. Gosa. It's like no. But I was em- I was emotionally moved. We're going to talk Me about too. them. I was too. Let's, let's talk about somebody who moved us in another emotional way, and let's talk about Mike and Jimena. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. That's my favorite audience reaction. I know. <laughs> Just want to say, Thanks remember on, like, the fourth episode when Poodle said this yes! is going to work out? Yes! <laughs> the- Hi, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here was, here was my theory, though. I thought that, first of all, I thought she had her shit together. And I thought that she was going to be able to do this. I thought she was going to be able to. No, she couldn't take that medicine. That was Mike. To sacrifice the the kind of, she would make herself happy for her family's happiness and for what she could have. You pushed through it. Yeah. Yeah. I saw her like pushing through. Trust me, I've done it. Girl, (laughs) all of us have. Yeah, Yeah, point your heels to Jesus. (laughs) Just think about nice purses. Oh boy! <laughs> I do love a nice purse. <laughs> That's true. To you we know. have to be gentle with. Yeah, I know. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. I'm okay. It's okay. Love a good Sweet Michael Sweet Dewey, Mary Payne. I'm sorry. Um, but no, I thought she would be able to, and it turns out. She's she's into matters of the heart. Mm. She it was not enough. It was not enough for her. I don't know about that. I don't know if I agree with that. No, or or what? she was grossed out by his snot. That. Yeah, I, know that. That. I know about him that. Him him dragging that. dog shit across look, their house. Yeah, look, look, we saw Mike's house. Mike always smells like old towels left in the washer. And he's one of those people that and when he's kind sw- of a little garlicky. Yes, garlicky. Yeah. And when he sweats, it just gets worse <laughs> and more intense. That is it's Mike. like that. It's like you know that smell of like sweaty kids. Yes. It's yes. Tu- it's tons. Yes. It's yes, worse. Do. And even he even wore <laughs> his. It happened to me for the first time, y'all. Mike wore a backwards hat this episode. Nothing. <laughs> and you know how I feel about men in a backwards hat. I felt nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Um, well, and also, I, he he actually turned into, we witnessed him starting off as a nice guy and people 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 who liked him, and he turned into a villain. That's yeah. rare. So what did y'all think no, about? No, is he, it though for 90 Day? Because I feel like we have all rare. been. We've all That's been, probably true. We have been, cult, we have been through cults. We have through. to hold each other at this point. We've yeah. been through cults. And? We have been through uh, Big Paul Ed. was the first one. Yes. Ed. Big Ed, Paul, you're right. Big, we, got, Fred. we had to turn on Big Ed like nobody's ever been turned before. Yeah. He, yeah. He, I don't so, know. I was always queasy with him. I was I was like, oh, I look. felt sorry for him. Isn't yeah. that cute? Uh, he well, wrote he's me in too. Yeah. You know what? Big Ed was my Mike and Jimena. I was like, yeah. he's so, he's in I it for know. love. Look, he just leads love. And this 22-year-old girl is, but you're I'm right. sure, the winner. She couldn't. No. She couldn't push through it. She, she couldn't push through. through it either. He f- he's like the human embodiment of a of Cheeto finger. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. yes. And those beady like, eyes. Like, yes. You just feel like. Mm. Yes. Now, mm. what did y'all think about? So, first off, Mike goes in hard that he wants to, even though they're. How many times you actually did a meme on your TikTok? I did. It <laughs> took me two hours. You count. It took you two. <laughs> She takes and she talks. And you counted. You did a, y'all, if you don't follow, it's Pink Shade, right, on TikTok? It's Pink Shade. Follow us on Instagram, please. Be- that it's a TikTok. Shade pod. Pink Shade it's pod. It's how many times Hamina broke up with Mike and he or still no, didn't believe How many it. times she said. She told him to leave. No. And how many leave. times was it? 30. <laughs> 30. <laughs> I episode. counted them. I did a screenshot. One episode. And I put. One, two, three, four. And then I got to 15. I was like, we're only halfway there, guys. And it kept going. And she would say, leave. You need to leave. Please leave. Will you leave? You're not staying here. You need to leave. She said it. And people were stunned. Like, she said it that many times. I was stunned, too. I just started doing it to see 
clicking it to see how many, and it was 30. 30 times. Mm-hmm. So we live in, this is a thing that just tells you, we li- Mike was raised in a position where he doesn't give a shit. Well, if well a woman but now says he's leave. leaving her kids. I want to say goodbye no. to the, this episode, he says, I want to say goodbye to the kids. Stop. No, yeah. no, you don't. You're just, she has told you to leave so many times, and now you're desperate, like, what? Kids. Oh, I want to say goodbye to your Meemaw that I never met. He's just, yeah. like, pulling things out of his ass. He, he, yeah. I have another cake with a ring and balloons. Like, yes. He, anything he could have done. <laughs> yeah. And he also, wasn't he, um, he, he's, like, one of these guys who, even still, as we get to the tell-all, and we'll see more of it, I think, in part two that isn't out yet, but he's one of these guys who, it's not even just no means no. It's like, get out, leave, I hate you, please leave. Yeah, yeah. We all loathe you. We're all scared of you. Yes. It means yes. Yeah, I mean. That means we're going like, to get married September 1st. That is scary. <laughs> right. That is scary. It, it no, is. He, and they, she, they finally kick him out, and the, I mean, they're all crying. What is the mother? The mother says, uh, the, she says, they're like sobbing, and the mother says, you make our family heartache, or you make our family hurt. Like, and he finally, and then he leaves, and he's like, "Can I call you tomorrow?" <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be back in the morning, right? Shall so you're saying there's a chance. Yeah, I could call you tomorrow, right? <laughs> right? I could do that. He's he's been compared to Woogie in something about Mary many times. Oh, oh, yikes! Oh, uh, it's yeah. Well, no, oh, that was dark. That, I that, guess. <laughs> no, no, it, there's it was there, correct. It's there's correct, just, yeah. There's just to a point where if you've ever if you've ever tried to break up with a guy, ladies, and there's been that one guy who doesn't get it, you and it's just after a while, it's not scary anymore. It's like this is dangerous. Oh. This is this this feels. Dangerous. I was glad there's a production crew there because. He was like following her around and saying, "I pay the rent, and I'm not going to leave." And, oh, and that he was pulled so out, He pulled scary. out the rent. He pulled out your life yeah. was terrible before me. I was like, "She has done the right thing. She gave you the rings back. Yes. She has done everything right, and you're just getting worse and worse by the minute." And that's why that's why we can't have nice things. Well, we can't have and, nice things. And <laughs> and <laughs> this is someone you saw fear in her eyes, and mm. this is someone who lived with a Sicario. <laughs> yeah. I know. He's got the like. Three yeah. or four fingers yeah, on a keychain. Yes, this is someone who puts her head in the hands and goes, I always find the crazies. <laughs> and if Mike I have is the to craziest. clean up blood again. Literally, her ex is in jail. Yeah, yeah. And, he, and, he, and Mike has no fear of being disappeared, but that also concerns me. Yeah. I, I'd take a Sicario over Mike any day. Yeah. At least it'd be hot. Mike's running, well, Mike okay. was running through those alleys, though, and I was like, I don't know if we'll see him, Mike, again. <laughs> There, yeah, poodle, yeah. There's Mike, no Mike. safe word with a Sicario. There's no safe so, word with Sicario. No. I don't think you want to do that. Mm-mm. I don't think you want to do that. In theory, it sounds like a good idea. But, mm. So then we think we're done. We think we're done with this. And we're like, okay, they're done. They're broken up. They're not have. Oh, but wait. No, let's hold say, on. Let's say hold that. On. What? what? Let's say that until we talk about them. We're talking about Mike and him. And I know. <laughs> no, the, oh, that's the full. Oh, we're doing an overview. Oh, that's okay. the whole point. Okay, okay. I don't know what's happening. It's okay. It's okay, it's guys. Okay. Guys, don't fight. Okay. No. Wait, you'll like, up. He he's always goes. <laughs> no, it's the next day. That we're not doing the over. We're not doing the thing. We're doing an overview. We're talking about all the different people. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, we are. We are. I don't want my two dads to fight. <laughs> no, we're not. He just. <laughs> we don't like what our dads. I just fight. like that part. Is that Ella and Johnny. <laughs> I'll just interject <laughs> something. H- who? Oh. I'm- they were barely on. It was a fizzle. Um, oh, yeah, we're doing the overview. I remember that now. Yeah. Thank Y'all, you. I spend all <laughs> this fucking time, <laughs> and it oh, doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't. I'm present. Yes, let's talk about <laughs> Ella and Johnny. Um, he's, <laughs> him, and, him and Hamza are the are really, God, I feel bad for them both. Um, yeah. I feel bad for Johnny. Yeah. That was really sad. And she's like, you know, my friend came over and then whoops, accidentally we had sex. I don't know how it happened. And he was like, that's I, okay. I understand. It happens. I still doesn't happen. I still say that she made it up. That oh. she this my tinfoil hat theory that's was theory. when she when she it's what I thought as soon as it happened, because she's like, So you're not coming? And she figured it out. So I guess I should tell you <laughs> that um a friend of mine came over last night. We played Dungeons and Dragons together. He did. And we were cuddling. He did. And he played an orc card. <laughs> Which. And. We did a spell and then. 
And all of a sudden, I was on his club. And then he let me wear his cape of invincibility. And she got the crystals. And she got the crystals. Thank she God. knew he had them. She knew he I had s- them. I swear, because that because the thing is, she was still crying, and I she did it to hurt him. She did it was to hurt awful. Him. There was no reason for they her to seem like forever that. ago too. They ended like five episodes ago. They cut time has been so elastic this it, it season. It really has. Yeah. Yeah, um, it has. I mean. Well, also, I think they do have her at the tell-all. We know she comes on the tell-all. We yeah, yeah. Show up for that. And they came for her. We, she we, gets roasted, and it's not going well. We heard that like well. the onset Mm-mm. psychiatrist had to like take her off set and talk to her. Yeah. You heard right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go mm-hmm. back to your purple house, honey. No one really liked you at all. Aww. I want her to find love. I, I do want she, her. To I think she'll find love locally. Locally. <laughs> 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 I think locally. a lot of these people should find love locally. That is the Mike. sweetest thing you can say about <laughs> that, her. Yeah. Coming to TLC, match your Finding new love locally. Local love. <laughs> these people went across the world and realized Do you they're live just going to settle in their Idaho? backyard. It's much just better if you settle for someone around you. Exactly. It costs way less. Yeah. Just yeah. look in your tri county like area. Finding love locally. Curtis and Courtney met in a militia in Idaho. <laughs> he hasn't paid taxes in 25 years. <laughs> and they're in love. And she's, <laughs> she's got a bunker you wouldn't believe. Premiering on Thursday night right after Salt Wives. <laughs> That's right. I am reading that spec script. <laughs> One day I'm reading that spec script. We give Matt Sharp so many good ideas. We do. He yeah. needs. To, we, we need to take him out to dinner. He's got so his people out he here take trolling us out to dinner. He should. <laughs> we're, we're, we talked about Memphis and Hamza a minute ago. The other love story when he went to Panama. <laughs> and he I found can't. his girl of his uh, dreams. There, there might, I think probably, no. it might even be number one. They are my, in my top three of 90 Day Fiance and, couples. And here's the thing. In what way? I know. But because here's what. They're, they're in love or so, hate? Uh, I don't, I love watching them and I love watching them hate one another. But okay. she's, okay. she's so, she's so good. Yeah. We keep forgetting about all the crazy control shit and the revenge porn. She's it's, great. It's all very inconvenient, but it's still there. I can't quit looking at her. She's so gorgeous. And who knew? Jasmine, me, we're both vegans. Didn't know. When did Didn't you know. get vegan? For that time, like four years ago, for three weeks? Oh, you haven't seen the tell all yet when she calls herself a vegan. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> but I need your meat. Yes. That's what Both she things. loves his meat. You know, loves j- meat. joke's always funnier when you have to explain it. <laughs> as you I won't it. hear it. <laughs> Don't touch me. You're getting a silent treatment for that. <laughs> Anyway, okay. we're, so, we're definitely going to talk about them d- a little bit later. Okay. I think in a, maybe it's just because I'm so enamored with her. But overall, she's though, a star. I do think, I she's think, I think Jasmine loves Gino. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah, do y'all does. think? Do you, it's yeah. like frightening. Single white female love, yep. but loves yes. him. She's I, like, I love his weirdness and his hat and my electric toothbrush. Do you think <laughs> Gino loves Jasmine? No. Did you notice that in his proposal, and when he also spoke to his little sweet uncle later, both times, in his proposal to her, he only spoke in the proposal about how much she loves him. him. Yep. He never oh. said, you've changed me, no. I love you, I've never met anybody. Like, he just said, I've never had anybody that loves me as much as you do. Oh. He and also he said the same thing to his uncle. He says that, and he also says, yeah. no one's ever going to love me the way she does. Yeah. Right. Wee, 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 wee. What a beautiful proposal. See, they're perfect no for one, one another. Else. But I, I think you're right. I just think they're really imperfect as a love story. And, and, and there is no perfect love story. So maybe they're the best we've got. I, think, I feel like they're the new Paul and Karini. Oh. Okay. <coughs> no. No one ever needs to be the new one. We've like, got plenty. Oh. But you know, but like they were mess, they were messy, and you enjoyed watching their messes. But then they got you're not like, gonna win this. They one. got really dark, and uh-uh. you're like, I don't want to see them anymore. That's every couple on this show. I, I think that's, that's eventually going to be Gino and Jasmine. They're going to flame out. I've got like two years, three years tops of Gino and Jasmine, and then she actually will murder him. Right. 
Right. I have He'll a question. be a depressing man in Michigan yes. underground. She's going to be a depressing woman in Michigan when she gets there and I realizes think so too. that she used yes. to live in Panama. Yes. I have a question for you guys. Do you think that Gino has big dick energy? No. No. <sighs> I'm it asking. Is. Yeah, I, I don't, but I was wondering I, I, if, I'm, here's, if I'm not seeing it. Here's here's what I would tell you. Mary Payne said don't. dick. Here's what I would Mary tell Payne you. Mary Payne did say dick. I Y'all, did, Mary I didn't Payne. Like, I, didn't I want like, that to be I, recorded. I didn't like it. I'm Their telling, podcast I'm telling your minister. Than ours. I was scared you wouldn't know what I meant if I said BDE. Oh, we say oh, yeah. big D, BDF all the time, which means a f- the physical features of a man that have big dick face. The face. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's, um, that that has to do with the nose, right? Like Alexi. A lot um, of times. It's an inexact science. Oh. But okay. it's, <laughs> it's more Poodle's gift. Much more about sometimes facial features. There's also a proportional, it's a, uh-huh. it's a measuring. Okay. It was... But I can't tell you everything about it. Uh, an old woman my mother saw in the bank was about to die and bequeathed me the gift. So an, old, an old crone, like an old crone. As his mother, just she left a deposit. Chamber I was, was running around trying to get another sucker because yeah. he wanted another one. And at she's the bank. like, "That boy needs it." And she said, "I give you." My gift. And so, and then as soon as as soon as that happened, and she she's died like, right there. And she died really? on the spot, and I went. As a little boy. And it transferred to transferred. Sounds like child abuse. And me as four (laughs) four years old knew much more than I ever needed to. That getting in a weird area, we're gonna move on. But I I wanna So so Gino doesn't have I don't think so. I I, I think I think Gino hasn't trimmed in ten years. It's fair. Just to find Does his does his other face? It it, you know what it probably it probably looks like that. It's probably bald on a one side just a little just I mean, a little like pat. It's that Voldemort snake yeah. thing in the yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah, it is a Voldemort yeah. thing. Yes. Does that yes. have the energy? Yes, yes. No, and y'all, that, that's a Merkin back like there. A, yeah, that's it is a Merkin. Just, that is Merkin. a pubic wig. A, yeah, it is. It's a Merkin. You know what a Merkin is. I know it you is. do. It is. Sir, sir, no. sir, you just learned what a Merkin was no. tonight. No, he does. It's he not does. a Birkin. Yeah. Not a Birkin. No. no. He does. Um... So we have one couple left to talk um, about, I believe. Skin to skin. And that is skin to skin. Kim what do you think about Kimberly and Uthman? You find I'll be day for the, you. My fine girl from the internet. My fine girl my from fine the, girl the internet. internet. Mm-hmm. You've got that something, and I can't forget. Do, you know, he said in that song, "The way you go, the way I, you drink the wine for me and go down for me." That's yes, what he, he said did. in that song because I sang it on our TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I wrote all the words down and I had to sing them. And that's what he said. He said, I like, the w- I like the way you go down for me. No, this is the fine girl from the internet, the Kimberly song. Oh, the Kimberly song. The one that oh. he sang 30 really? seconds of yes. oh. for her private oh. concert. At the end when he goes, oh. Soka Chua, and nobody knew what it meant. Yeah. And then he kissed her out on the beach. That's the only time he's ever kissed her in public. Yes, the, when he came out singing with his I don't iPhone. Know what, when he knew, when he, ne- he was like, wait a minute, I need to get my MacBook back. Yes. <laughs> right. but, okay, I want to put oh, something out. I need one more season yeah. on the show. Yeah, I oh, right. Say, yeah, I, I want an it. Xbox. One, more. one and the, more. And the thing about people keep saying, well, you know Usman wants to come to America. No, he doesn't. He wants to be on TV. Yes. Yeah, he he needs ding, to be ding, on TV. ding. It's a big show. It's a big show. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Who and knew? He, he needs that exposure. He'll yeah. date anyone <laughs> to and you know what? train going. Usman is doing what Jimena could not follow through with. He's also and he's doing it very well. And he's smart. Okay, this is Tim Foyle hat. I think he and Zara didn't really break up. It was his thing, hey honey, I gotta get on this show. Mm-hmm. Let me get with her. We're gonna do this show. I'm gonna introduce That'd you be genius. on the show. And then I'm gonna break up with Kimberly and then I'm gonna be with Zara, the person I wanna be with. And then we'll then we'll do our own naughty day because you're an American. Exactly. Yep. That's y'all. That's it's this side genius. Over, this that's, side over I here. I respect just him. Carl, I think he's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Carl, shit, I think he played that Kimberly. I love her nails. <laughs> Carl, wow. Shoot her. Go get your daddy. I got something to tell him. Go on now. It's good. He's going off on his little cart. Yep. Y'all, I tell you what, if you're having a bad day, remember, 
Dogs with carts, wheelies. Wheelies. Dogs when their legs don't work. That, it yeah. is the best. It makes you feel so good because those Aww. dogs are just having the best time. So, so yeah. sweet. I'm gonna start crying. Yeah. Now, did you? Yeah. She really are. She's gonna no, start crying. I know, I know. She'll she'll tear up. <laughs> About yeah, dogs, she teared dogs up backstage wheelies. for no reason. Yeah. It's, <laughs> ugh, and it just. I know we'll talk about this more, but maybe it was just me, but I did feel for Kimberly at the tell when she had to watch him call Zar with her necklace on. But didn't she look great at the tell She did. She looked great. She had a, some she professional did. makeup done. But she looked really good. I think most she looked great. Memphis looked great. Memphis looked incredible. They, Memphis yeah. and Hamza? Hamza? Best glow up. Best oh. glow up. They came out for the Oscars that we didn't get, but we deserved. Thank right. you. I was like, look at Thank these you. two. Do they know they're on a TLC tell-all? Like, yeah. The hair was on point. Shelly Robinson even looked. Her face mm-hmm. was beat. I think mm-hmm. they like amped up. Maybe the maybe they got. We've always heard that they do their. We've always heard that they. I don't remember where we heard this from. But they always do their. <laughs> always own, informative. They do have to do all their own makeup yeah. except for Chantel, who it was in like her season, contract. Season that he two, needed. her contract. She got her own makeup. Chantel part. and Pedro. Yeah. yeah. You know, because Bill Cosby went. Like I want it. this in my contract, and we're gonna do it. This is. She can't do her own makeup without opening her mouth. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. What a, Pedro. That was another one of the, the, my, the, my favorite scenes from the film is when they, they were singing, yeah, and Chantel was just weeping in the corner. <laughs> her family's terrible. We love them. It's, we we're, do. We, we haven't. We're yeah. gonna start watching the family Chantel because someone said on air we have it to watch it. It will be covered on our on our class Thanks. list. <laughs> yeah. It's get get ready. You're gonna you ask hate for Pedro it. and then love him. It's just at the end you think we can have nice things. We have Pedro. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, I loved him from the beginning. Well, he's same here. It's not it hard is on nice. The eyes. It is man. very nice. Man. Nice, nice, nice. Um. All right. What's next? Because I don't know anything. I I we, we, we <laughs> were we were gonna do we were. We were going to discuss three of the couples from what we'd seen. We may do two before we take an intermission, because uh, I, ta- I brought my phone. So we, talk, gr- we talked a lot about Mike and Jimena. Already. Yeah, we do. But do we need to talk about Mike and Jimena? I think, I think, yeah, I think we got it. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that I think is important is that he breaks up. He calls her an evil, what do you say? He called her like a puta. I can't. Puta. Yeah. Yeah, he called her like the only Spanish she finally knows now is to call but, her a piece of shit. He's so gross. Yeah. But he ends up, so I was not shocked, but we thought it was done. And then she gets that text saying, I want to support you. I want to take and care then she, of you. And the, the producer's like, what are you going to do? She's like, what am I going to do? And you know why she you said that? You know me. She, you know why she Can said that? Because she was on camera. Right. If she wasn't on camera, she would be like, sure, you can pay my rent. This happens to me right. all the time. Cause you, yeah. But he's like, September 1st is the wedding day, so yeah. I'll pay your rent, but I'm coming there on September 1st he's for the wedding. He's a scary motherfucker. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so it's, it's all I or nothing. I swear to God. He will sneeze directly into her mouth. <laughs> oh! Oh! That is my new qualification. <laughs> that was gross, because it was real. You hold her hand. Come hold my hand. I need you. <laughs> Just like, Just whoa. Just like, like a COVID. That gun. made like me a, shudder. My, no, my my four-year-old niece actually did that to me once, and I was just yeah. sitting there, and she went, choo. And I felt her spittle hit me. I felt that, yeah. And then there was, but it was actually moist, so some snot hit me yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's when I knew this is actually love because I didn't recoil and yell at her. That's right. Um, that's sweet, poodle. But <laughs> is that what it takes? Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a sweet story for poodle. I, I, I am moved by children who are blood related to me. Um, oh, that's good. Okay, that's just, right. that's good. just them. Most of the others I am indifferent to. I understand. Um, Same. Yeah, when people say, look at my cute niece and nephew, I'm like, Okay, I can appreciate it like it's a piece of art, kind of. But, you but don't I want, feel you don't nothing. want them to sneeze in your mouth. Yeah. Oh. Right. Right. But yeah. when, when I see people's dogs, I'm like, look at that dog. Oh. I would let any dog of anyone, all y'all, sneeze in my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. My dogs have been but full out tongue kissing Erin since she's been in town. It's oh, like, we've yeah. Been like, I was like, I'm sorry, and she's like, she's really getting in there. I said, she she's really, really, really she getting in there. In. Have you she seen Mary Payne's dogs on Instagram? They're so cute. 
They're so they're very adorable. Cute. They, um, like, they like to tongue you. They like to do a little tongue, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I don't have a ton of other... The only thing I wanted to also say about Mike and Jimena Jimena. is... Jimena. 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 Um, is when she went, he said, call you later? <laughs> it was another one of those moments where you went... Uh, um, so Chef, let's, yeah, let's do a little Memphis and Hamza. We said before, big turnaround. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was emotional in this goodbye. I was very sad. I was too. Did and you that cry, Aaron Martin? Separated from the body line. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I, I cry. I cry. I do cry. He said, it's he so said, bizarre. she cries. He said, I do. I felt so moved by it. And that she was pregnant. And okay, Mother Hamza. And oh, Hamza. in her little kitty sweater. Oh, uh, she's in crying. In her little kitty hoodie. I mean, well, the cheekbones for days. The cheekbones. Number one. She's gorgeous. Mamza. 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 But I mean, they were just so loving and sweet in the celebration, and like what the mom's been through, and then how she was yes. scared for her son. That was so understandable to me, as mm-hmm. opposed to the trope of Ninety Day, where they're always like, "What are you doing with right. my child?" What are you doing? Yes. You know, it was so much different than that. And I loved the translator moments, and I loved when Memphis had to get dressed up in the little elf suit, <laughs> or <laughs> you know, what or whatever was happening it, there. It was kind of like a white Ewok. It was hood. very yeah. yeah. On her, it just yeah, and she looked. She did look a little bit like a w- widget, widget in human form. Yeah, uh, yeah. I we thought the Ewok dress would have been better. She had on that pantsuit. We like, we liked the green dress that she tried on first. I liked that too. I liked the green dress. But did you notice how the mom and every, they all, they really all connected through laughter? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That, I that love was the that moment. That was the moment. Because she was pretending like she was Memphis. Yes. Walking out of the dressing room. And I think and you said this on the episode, but just the fact that you forget when Hamza said, oh, I have a family now because his family was torn apart by this I'm going to cry too. And he didn't see his father at all until their wedding day. I mean, he was That's just... That's right. You just forget that, like... I now go I'm back emotional. This, I never thought Memphis was a bad... She's not like a... Memphis is not a bad person. What I've said before, no. she has just so much... So many Poor layers of making. trauma yeah. that she just... I actually like watching her because I think we all have trauma and things that it, have that influence the way we have bad behaviors in relationships. But it doesn't mean we're bad people. We're just fumbling through love, and I think that's kind of what she did. If you yeah. can, if you Let, can, let's pray. Yeah. Let's if you can, I'm if you, <laughs> I think if, the, if she can make it work, if they can make it work together, and learn from each other, great. I just wonder how hard it might be at the very beginning. And uh, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe we know more. I don't know if anybody knows if they're actually together now. I think they are. Really? Good. Yeah. You That's don't what think the they internet, are? The internet said they are. Okay. Oh. Yeah. How about the bathroom? The Google answer? machine told us. Well, I, I, also, I also wish she would be a little more cognizant of what she was doing on social media because she kind of trolls people, and that never oh, does well for you. I don't watch her on social. Yeah, I don't yeah, follow. Yeah, she any does of these a lot of multi-paragraph posts about yeah. like here's what you need to know about so me. Tiring I'm like, I just out. watch you on a show. It's okay. I know. I, I just watch you on a show. I'm okay with that. Um, and then we th- we talked a little bit about them, but Kim and Usman. Um, there was one scene at the very end, which it was on Discovery Plaza. I don't know if you guys saw it. Yeah, he it was, saw a scene. It was that Kim talking to her friend Vanessa. Did y'all see that? No. I think no. it was cut. I gotta. I you gotta get like the weirdest discovery. It's because you the, download it from the torrents. Because I steal it from the internet. <laughs> yeah, he gets uh, weird <laughs> torrents. Fucking Robin Hood. Um, it's on Discovery Plus. What you? I saw? don't know. The, oh, okay. I, I, it's I, just it, somewhere. It, it, it's it a went bonus do, and it looked like a Romanian Discovery Plus. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyway, it was Kim. It was Kim talking to her friend Vanessa. She's like. I don't know. I really think that he's going to be hard to see me. And Vanessa's like, this is not a real relationship. And that was, that was basically the example. So one of that her was friends, riveting. It looked like one of her friends from Didn't the beach. Didn't say it was good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. It's one of the girls from the beach that she went to the yeah, beach. And yeah, the fake for friends. S- for some reason, her friends are 25 years old. Fake friends. Right, yes. right, okay. Yeah. They probably were going to show that because they knew what was coming in the tell-all when she had egg It's like face. Chantel's friend Gigi who did everything for her. <laughs> Who oh, Gigi. Gigi, who needs boundaries. Gigi was a good friend, y'all. Gigi put her wedding together. Gigi went to the Dominican Republic to see her. She sure did. She, she did uh, it all. She got, a, she got a prenup template from, like, 
Adobe clip art works. <laughs> Adobe clip art. You could have signed this piece. She's like, this print up right here in the ceremony. Bring up for your wedding night, it was like an, It was like Angela's friend who came all the way to... Yes. Jojo. Jojo. They're Jojo. Not They're not friends anymore. They're not friends anymore. I know, but anymore. do you remember how, how ride or die she What'd was? She, she was do? like wiping her pits and stuff. Yeah. It was, yeah. Like, it was the real she deal. She was helping her on the potty. What, what, did, what did Angela she do was. to Jojo? They're just not friends anymore. I, I think Angela had that surgery uh -huh. and she like lost weight and now she just she just kind of thinks she's hot shit. Yeah, I've seen That's that what on I think. Instagram. I think that like Angela's one of those people who she already was a raging horrible narcissist, but she <laughs> but and I can say this cuz we I do too. I mean, she had she had body issues, and her, so that's what kind of humbled her that, a little bit. That humbled her, and now that she like is slim, she's like, "Oh, I can be a get ready asshole, and no one's gonna care." She's she's do doing ads for some kind of like uh, I mean, she's lawnmower dealership or something a in her town. That's amazing. That, she's a walking Virginia Slim at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's she's she, she does, no. she does many, a, many a story, many an Instagram story or TikTok like this. Just looking at the camera, yeah, and then there's some teeth. weird like. She, I never told this on. A, I never told this on a podcast uh, ever. Oh, this is Angela T. She Ooh. sent me. When Do my, I know this? When I think maybe when my father. Yeah, I've was, forgotten it. My friend. I have a friend of a friend with her and said, "Oh, my one of my good friends. They were at a party. Said one of my good friends is Maddie from Reality Gaze, and he said that she made a face and she smiled and she said, "Oh, I know them. I hear what they say." <gasps> and so Ooh. on his. <laughs> On his Instagram, she We're sent me, nice and he was telling to me, she, he told her about what I was doing, and, and like, uh, he wanted me to come out that night, and he's like, she, she would come see her, I was like, I can't, it was when I was in Oklahoma wiping my dad's butt. She did the send and a so, message, she was doing like this. So she sent me, a, I said, I can't, I'm taking care of my dad, and she sent me a voice message on Instagram, uh, say, I can't believe I never told this, y'all, and she's like, hi, I heard what you've been saying about me, <laughs> But you know, I heard you taking care of your dad. I really appreciate it. you and me wiping his butt. I love wiping butts. I'll come wipe your father's butt. I'll do it. I'm telling you, tell me where to go and I'll do I it. I heard it. It is exactly yeah, that. That's literally what Angela that's said to me. Amazing. Yeah, she Have did you say saved that. it? Have you saved it? You can do that. We don't we don't know. I didn't save it. You didn't Have save you it? saved okay. it? I, I, no, I appreciate your reenactment. I, I will go back and see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, y'all that's incredible. We're going to let, we're gonna let take you out of the first act, but first, y'all, oh. we're gonna do some shout outs. Shout out! Yeah. Feel oh. free to dance. You know you make me down. wanna shout. Kick my heels up and down. Do it. Gary, that's enough. Give it up for Gary in the booth, y'all. Okay, okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. So we're just going to go in the line. I'll start. Gary Boothy. Gary Boothy. <laughs> hey, y'all. Okay. Hey. Okay. <laughs> it says, to our bunky goddesses, I hope the pearls weren't clutched too tightly. Fellow bunky Ann. Oh. Y'all, we call you sissies. They call them bunkies. So. Okay. Shout to Mish for being a ride or die for all things trash TV. Woo! Mish. To Dan, my bestie, just admit how much you love 90 Day. Sorry for any traumas I've caused you. <laughs> oh, Dan. Oh, Dan's handsome. <laughs> Look at you, Dan. Yeah. To my BF, Jose, who's here. Woo! Woo what? Whoa, oh, there he Somewhere. is. Woo! Uh, thank Ooh, you for watching. Thank you for watching 90 Day with me. I love your big dick ass. Whoa! What? I hope you, Mary Payne gets the next one. You, you are Poodle's dick. type. You are Poodle's type. Where is I don't I don't need to know. I I can already tell. Okay. Uh, shout out to Kirstine. Kirstine. Shout out to Christine for joining me. I'm so excited. That is for, a spelling. For her wedding next year. Chelsea. Or Chesley. 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 I can't read. 
It's Kerstin and Chesley. Okay. Oh, this is for us. It's for you. Aaron and Mary Payne, best mouth inspectors who still trying to kick the Willy Bobo. Shorty be popping. Yes! Love it. Because we're um, so current on our podcast. So Short, Shorty be popping. <laughs> right. So current. Mm. Ha- happy anniversary, Boo! I'm gifting you an experience in Poodle's playpen to celebrate, Aaron. That's from someone. Oh. Aaron. Uh, oh, the line Bertle. is here. Oh, my. Oh, oh. Hello, my darling. Oh. You're like the mountain from Game of Thrones. Oh. <laughs> just every, when you have sex, it just... Do, 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 do. That's it. We're going to ritually shave that beard later. Oh. Whoa. Uh, oh, no. Oh, I can't I, tell you what I'm going to do with it. Okay, who's next? Oh, no. uh, Aaron's next. Oh, it's me. Shout out to Lindsay for celebrating my birthday with two gay queens. Woo! Woo! Love your BFF Jess. Y'all are gay. <laughs> okay, no. Just taking shit. For each other. Yeah. Jillian, I can't wait to marry you in two months and spend the rest of our lives watching trash. Love Jess. Oh! Oh, that's so sweet. Shout out to my handsome husband, Kevin, for bringing me to the show. Ooh, where are you? Stay away from Jake. All right. Love, Ashley. All right. Where's Kevin? Yeah. Oh. Good luck, honey. Yeah. Oh, he's cute. Dave, Bevan, Lindsay, and Stephanie. Love you all. Vanessa, you're with us in spirit. Love, Whitney. I almost read, wrote Whitey. Read Whitey. Whitey. Oh, oh, oh. Love, oh. Whitey. Oh. Okay. Oh, this. do we have some sad music for this one? Okay, so <laughs> can't believe. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Thank you, Gary. Gary Gary Boothy is amazing. Okay, can't believe y'all are so close. I can't be there. I'm there in my heart. Love you both. Lynn B. Okay, bring up the good music. Lynn Uh, Tindler. Now you can go back. Okay, bring it back. Don't harsh the vibe. To my handsome and smart husband, Scott, who's going to be really annoyed to be put on the spot. Give it up, Scott. Where are you? Where are you? It rhymed. Oh, he didn't come. There you are. Oh, there he is. There there he is. is. Oh, I can see that face. The outlines are good. Focus. <laughs> Teach me your ways. Teach me, right? Yeah. To my amazing fiance, Jacob, you are the bane of my existence and the object of all my desires. Ooh. <laughs> that is love, Jacob. Wow. Baxter's wow. mom, I'm so glad our cows brought us together. Raise a claw to a great friend, Pretzel's mom. They're Aww. cows, Baxter and Pretzel. <laughs> That's sweet. Yeah. Oh, kitty cats. Thank you, Melody, for housing me and seeing our favorite gays here in D.C. Also, hi, Jackie. Love, Eliza. Yay, Eliza! To my mom, Ellen, thanks for tagging along to see my two favorite queens. Love always, Jessica. Thank you for coming, Ellen. I hope it's not Ellen DeGeneres. (laughs) No. She's not nice. Ed, thanks for bringing me out to celebrate my birthday. Watch out for Poodle. Love, Rachel. Ooh. A lot of warnings about your behavior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot. Um, oh, it's me. Uh, to Dr. Baby Girl, Mary Payne, and Goddess Erin, <laughs> much love from your OG Bunky Jen and hugs to my queens. Love, Jen. Jen. Yay. Hi, Jen. That's you, Aaron. That's you, Aaron. Oh, I was doing, I was doing You got into thing. it. You got into it. I forgot I was okay. up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget I'm a lot of places. Okay, so shout out to the boys who didn't let Miss... Kova. Didn't, didn't let Miss Kova stop them. Love, Megan. <laughs> You're welcome. Please. I'm right here. <laughs> Sorry. We almost right got into my mouth. Here. Shout out to Galia and Steven with a V for celebrating their six-year wedding anniversary. Yay! Aww. Did I say it right? Did I say it right? I don't know. I hope I did. No, Galia. Galia. Okay, good. Galia. Galia. I fucked that up. Galia? It was written right here. I know. So, yeah. Hooked on phonics didn't work. For, I'm from Oklahoma. That big Galia. Galia. Shout out to maybe Joey. Can't wait to move into our new house and play 90 Day Bingo with you. Oh. To Zoe, the original cock gobbler. <laughs> Thanks for being my best friend. Love, Katie. Oh, it's Zoe. Look at that. <laughs> the original cock gobbler. Wow. OG. Shout out to all the candy panties fulfilling their destiny tonight in oh, DC. Oh, oh I'm the big up destiny. All right. I can't tell if it's one altogether or is it two. 
Uh, sorry, we'll play the song again, please. We're long. Um, um, uh, I, I can't tell if that's Because we're old said. people and can't read it's in the dark, bought, y'all. We'll see. Bought this my is ticket. Brutal. Bought my ticket and my kids got me sick. Shout me out so I can at least hear it on the podcast. And then they forgot to leave their name. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Comic yeah. brain. It was no, it was it was some Carl's wife who put on the Patreon. I screwed up my shout out, Carl. So the next one's yours. Next one's mine. Okay. <clears throat> shout out to Aaron and Mary Payne. Thanks for introducing me to Maddie and Poodle. Funky Mandy. Yay! Oh. Yay thank Mandy. You. We're almost done, I promise. Yeah. Emma and Grace, thank you for introducing me to the craziness that is Night of Beyonce, Abby. Yeah. Thank you, girl. <laughs> Okay, Maddie Poodle and Pink Shade, y'all got me. Y'all truly got me through the pandemic. Thank you for creating this community. Yay. Oh, I love this one. I'm My, sorry, the, the font is small. It's fine. I know. I know. I know. And, <laughs> and I blew it up so much. No, you got. I did the best. They I tried. Could. They tried. It's no very small. My BFF and pickle sister Lindsay. I hope you enjoy your reality gaze cherry popping. Love oh. you, tall. <laughs> Uh, please be dirty. Please be dirty. Tim, thanks for obsessing over trash TV with me and being my prisoner of love. Mary Francis. Mary, Sister Mary Francis. Um, Mary Francis. To Chuck, thanks for coming with me to the show, even though you're thinking, who gives a shit? Love, Sam. <laughs> love, Sam. <laughs> Happy birthday, Stephanie. I'm so glad I nervously asked if you watched 90 Day on my first day of work with you. Aww. Aww. That's a good story. Y'all, Yo. those are your shout outs, Yo. everybody. Yeah. Go get a drink. Hello, everyone. We had a costume change. That, yes, I'm Uncle Maddie. I like that. I'm tell the boyfriend to call me that when I get home. Y'all, we are excited for this second app. Poodle, where are you? We're supposed to do our Uncle Sam number. Yes, we're going to be identical Uncle Sam's. It's going to be adorable. Poodle, where are you? Hold on, I'm, I'm almost there. <laughs> it's just put it over your pants. It's easy. Um, I made a couple alterations to my costume. What did you do? Poodle, get out here. It's, it's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to get out of the way so you can see this over here. Hi. I don't know if, if any of you know, I, I'm a seamstress as well. You were supposed to be um, Uncle Sam. Hi, sir. <laughs> You're, we're supposed to be Uncle hi, Sam. Hi, sir. And I'm wearing black underwear. There you go. <laughs> Should have thought about that. This is Aunt Samantha. Wow. Hey, I can pull it off. Wow. That hat's I not... will say, this hat is quite jaunty, but it is aggravating. Church! <laughs> Church! Church! I don't even um, remember what we were supposed to do I don't, now. This was a whole bit. This, this, was, was a whole this is what bit. I wanted to do. Wow. wow! Y'all, this is what happens when you've got no fucks left to give. When you're over 40. Wow. All right. And well, you we're don't gonna, care anymore. I'm going to make everyone... Right, sir? I'm sorry. We're going to have to do it like this. Y'all, we're going to have to do... We're going to do the re reality roundup. Are those Judy Garland shoes? Yes. <laughs> Y'all, I'm giving these to Aaron Martin after this, by the way. There you go. There you go. All right, everybody, let's do the reality game reality, round reality up, shall up. we? We're going to start with Below Deck Sailing at BDSM. Do it. I have to take off my hat, too. It keeps it's falling. annoying. Who wants it? Someone got the they, they almost fought for it. I'm not giving you my hat. I love this. I'm, I'm not giving this to you. I can't sit down. with your hands and glasses. This is not good. Get in my hat, handsome. Definitely not sitting down because you can see my candy. <laughs> no. no. Oh, can Here, you take off my shoes for me? I can't do. Move the tutu around. That's it. It's better. It's better. There you go. There you go. It's like Betsy Ross. There you go. Ow! I have a fucking. How do y'all wear these fucking things? I have a fucking oh. master's degree. He has two. I have two master's degrees. <laughs> 
I don't uh, like it this way. This is much better. Wow. I'm All right. <laughs> hey, what? You know what? This is better. That's this better. Is better. Thank you. This is better. All right. Below deck so selling. Like Laura yacht. Ingalls Wilder. Oh. Wow. Um, that's the first Laura Ingalls Wilder reference. That's the first one. Evening. Hopefully, last one. I'm enjoying this season of BDSY. Are y'all? BDSM. Um, boy. I don't know where my papers are. Tom um, really was a piece of shit. I he? hate him. What a gross guy. Um, who thinks that BDSM is the, is the best part of the franchise? Of, of Below Deck Sailing Yacht. I like it. Um, we haven't seen Down Under yet, but we have heard. Uh, they're they're going to do it on... Ma'am, that is quite a loud voice than a microphone. I've got to tell you. <laughs> I was just like, whoa! They are going to do it on uh, Below Deck. Or they're going to do it on uh, Bravo. Definitely. So we'll, we'll cover it then. We'll cover it then. I feel like a little girl in a dance costume who's like uh, taking a... Like, go, go. Uh, <laughs> I have to pee. All right. We're just going to move on. Um, um, anyway, we, we love... We love BDSM. We love BDSM. What about, now, y'all, what are you thinking about pig royalty? Pig royalty! Oh, wow, look at him now. Superman's famous pig. Suey, what do we see? The greatest hog in history. You're still not getting my ass. Who knows what this is from? Can you just nip on everybody? Sit down. Cut the music, Gary. Show his tit. Cut the music. You just show them your nipple. I have, Sir. I have family here. Oh, y'all, they got the creamy shoulders out. All right. Y'all, if you're not watching Big Royalty, you're what? You're doing it wrong. It's the best show on television. It's really, really good. <sighs> I don't. Pull it's really up. hard for me to talk about the show. I don't think I'm this, sticking to this couch. I don't think you did, you didn't see the latest episode. I did I not. Did. I didn't. This was a dumb idea for me I, to be in this costume. It was. It was a dumb this. idea. Um, I <laughs> was shocked at how y'all Tyler is unhinged, right? Like. I, I love, I'm, I'm just gonna hold on to my nipple. It's, it is. He's he's. It's so sad. Loud voice. You're right. It's so sad. This one. This so, y'all. This yes, yes. this woman just offered me her shirt as a cover up. <laughs> you know what? No, he has to sit in it. Don't you give him your shirt, nice person. It's like a because law and order. We had a plan. You, we had costumes, I need a and he changed it. So you go to bed tonight and cry with your nipple out, and I hope you're happy about it. I'm in DuPont Circle. I'm not going to bed alone. You know what? Oh. Uh-oh. It's true. You know what? Screw this. Let's talk about what everybody wants to talk about. Let's talk about love after lockup. Love after lockup! He's guilty, guilty, y'all. Can't walk. Of love in the first degree. Yeah. But I don't mind. You don't mind, sugar. Young as you're here with my ear, the judge and the jury. jury. Right, Jackie? Have you had my plea? Jackie, yeah. just be like this. Yeah. Set me up the right out. Straight up, that. You know what? I yeah. like your blue. I like your, your costume pink laser. is ruined. This. Lock me up, throw away the key. Woo. Just a prisoner of love. Ooh, I like your headband. I'm in the fire and I'm feeling fine. Can't turn around right now. I'm just a prisoner of love. Woo! I after lockup, y'all. I love the breeze. I should say, it's Poodle's Donut, y'all. There's little Debbie Gates. everything. You know, you just ruined it all. Just ruined it all. I change. Let's bring up. Mary Payne. Let's see, Mary. And Aaron. We, yeah, Poodle's gonna change. Mary Payne and Aaron. Uh 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 u
bottles when we go, yeah, we gotta go big. Bottles all around, what are we doing pop, with our like You know how we do it, we do it big. Woo! Walked in the club, eyes on me. What you know about a baby B I G? Walked in the club, eyes on me. We're just a classy show. Just throw my clothes in the corner. All right, everybody. Um, okay, so let's. Ch- we're gonna want poodles getting ready. What? So this y'all haven't been together in Hello. forever. It's, it was also in the before times. Because of, so. uh, cause of <laughs> <laughs> I know how to separate people because I miss Cova. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a, so. What's next for Pink Shea? What 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 are your plans for 2022? Do you? Okay, Mary Payne's looking at me. I have no clue. I wasn't planning on asking We're, y'all this. It okay, just came to no, me. No, Sorry, I'm, I'm an improv comedian. I mean, we're having so much fun tonight, so maybe we'll just follow you around like the Grateful Dead. Yeah, do you care? I would enjoy that a lot, actually. And just sit in the audience and shout. I think, bro, I think, Bunkies, don't you want them to do their own live show? Wouldn't you want that? Yeah, I think they're getting ready. We're trying to push them. We're trying to push them. Oh, thanks. It's a gentle push. It's a gentle push. Yeah. (laughs) I think yeah. you guys you guys are the masters. This is so much fun. Oh, thank you. Thank you for thank having us. You're having very us. welcome. We love Now y'all are doing a meetup tomorrow night, right? We are. We we're are. doing a meetup and you know Can people still sign up or go to that? Yes, there was an event, uh, Bright, I don't know, Ingrid did it for us, we don't know, but it's at the um, Arlington Rooftop Bar and Grill, and you all will remember this if you watch Love After Lockup, Max went there with his friends, and he was talking with his friends, and then he went down to take a call, and then he came back up, and he had braces, and then they disappeared, and he came back oh, up, and he yeah. had braces again. That's where we're meeting. Yes. That's where we'll That's be. where we're meeting. So, yeah. I'm glad you're back and closed. <laughs> what I miss? You have a, a bow tie around your neck. <laughs> it, it adds. It's a, it's a loop. It adds. It it's adds. A, loop. It doesn't, it doesn't a okay. pop of color. It, so y'all watch Lalu too. You're big Lalu. Of course. Um, excuse, yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. We would say that's the best show on television. We would, we Agree. would say that. Yes. We say that all the time. It's yeah, our favorite big, show. Big actually, royalty. I haven't caught up on this season. I heard. I mean, I know you guys are covering I it do. now. I'm going to catch up because I love me some big royalty. But I love after lockup this season, the casting. Oh. Five out of five stars. Mm-hmm. Would recommend. Probably my favorite thing about Lalu is when Mary Payne was on a cruise and I guested on their show. <laughs> and I acted like I had a phone call and I played Ty's phone ring. <laughs> but Aaron didn't get it. Is this BB? And she was like, I said, oh, I got to get this call. And she went, in the middle of a podcast, like, what an asshole would I be if I did that? <laughs> and Aaron was like, Sure, sure. <laughs> and she just sat there. I got something like burning on the stove. And I, I went, answered I went, the first. Did, is that important? Do you need to get that? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll just and wait. I did the kind of the first. I was like, oh, hey. Oh, hey. What's up? And she still was like, I hope everything's okay. <laughs> and then I said, oh, hold on. I got another call. And then I did it again. And it completely <laughs> stopped the show for like five minutes. Because <laughs> you laughed so hard. It was pretty I funny. Couldn't, I couldn't stop laughing. Was, I mean, my God. It's like... Do I get anything until five minutes later? Not often. It was. It was. Enjoy- yeah. I enjoyed that moment. I enjoyed it. too. I listened to it and I knew it was coming, and I still didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I. I hope that. So, what do you think this season of uh, uh, Lawlers? We've got. First of all, let's start off with. Let's start off with Chaz and Branwin. Oh. Branwin. Branwin. Um. Branwin. I, uh, I've got a surprise for all of you. Uh, you know that Chaz is a drummer in a heavy metal group called <laughs> Untold Relic. He is. Um, we, have a, we have a great uh, song to play for you guys right now. Oh, no. Um, it's their tribute to the pandemic that's called Pandemonic. <laughs> <laughs> Hit it, Gary. Give us some Pandemonic. <laughs> Can't you see it? Give what they want. All right, it's what we want. We got it. All right, Gary, thank you. That's plenty. I think we got it. Um, hey guys, hey guys, I gotta go pick up my girlfriend. I just can. 
I gotta sub out. Um, all right, Chaz and Branwyn. First, Chaz, first, first impressions. Impressions. Well, once again, we're like, oh, now he's gonna turn out to be a total monster. He's gonna, yeah. y'all. This motherfucker he, yeah. is deviant as fuck. I promise you. You can five see marriages. his eyes. Five yeah, marriages. he's had five marriages, he's, y'all. He's. I think he's like a Stan and Lisa. Stan with the yep. hair. And the, the hair. The mommy master. He he mommy him. master. He mommy. It, but it. But Basement. not as obvious. But he's out there on the Facebook messaging. He's out there. Paper dolls. Paper he's dolls. A Mike. He's paper a Mike. dolling it up. We think he's adorable at first, and we find out he's horrible. He just yeah. wearing his little polo and khakis at the band practice, and they've got Viking helmets on and <laughs> cat eye. <laughs> like scary ass, <laughs> scary ass contacts in, yeah. and they're shutting doors because there's a chill. I'm like, oh, these guys are all like our age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Way they're too all like a y'all. little bit chilly. Way too old. Everyone's, like, oh. everyone is wearing, you know, you're like horns, and then the drummers got this like cute little music note mask. Yes. And, <laughs> and it might as well be Hello Kitty. <laughs> and Chaz does the open mouth. Wide smile. He does while he's dr- while he's doing the bass, which is to me serial killer, like. He's like, he looks way too excited yeah, to be up there doing excited. that. He also a has, a, he has a nervous laugh. Did you notice that? He did play in yeah. this band to relax. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, that's what he said. He looked him up on Craigslist and needed to relax. And it's, that music makes him relax. It's not his kind of music, he said, but you know, he went with it. He went with it. Yeah, and he does a lot of like, I hope she likes me. <laughs> I, I want to <laughs> like him. But I'm just, I'm just Absolutely scared. Absolutely not. I, no, What's wrong with you? No, I want to have pity for him, but Matt Sharp has scared me. Right. And also, his name's Charlie. But he's calling himself but, Chaz. Okay. <laughs> double Z. So, okay. I put I, it as okay. double, also, double Z. I this also is, get scared of that. This was totally like, this is what happened. It's going to be totally like Heather Harris Horn did in middle school. No, we don't no, have I time. Remember, no, I remember <laughs> because we were in Miss McAnally's class in the seventh grade. Are eighth grade, Miss McAnally. This is? No, what? Barry Payne, no. that's the whole point. No. It's story. Heather Harris. Harris. Tell made up stories. No, the it's time real. In Oklahoma. Heather Harris Horn was the one who had the dream that Cody Proctor got her pregnant. She thought she was really pregnant in real life, but she wasn't. But that's another story. But Heather Harris Horn, she's the one that in eighth grade, she came to school in eighth grade, and everybody said, Hey, did you see Nikki? And I was like, who's Nikki? And Heather Harris Horn decided to change her name to Nikki because her middle name was Nicole. And she went by Nikki from 8th, 9th, and then 10th grade. And then finally, her uh, junior year, she went back to Heather just to piss her mother off. That's mental illness. <laughs> well... <laughs> I thought you were going to say she, was, she died in 10th grade. No. So she's, she's, and she's here tonight. She's a, no. she's a truck driver now. But <laughs> okay. oh, well. her husband, who her ex-husband, who used to cross-dress, who was a true... Because she messaged me and said he likes to wear women's clothes. What do I do? Y'all, I can, I can confirm. This person is real. He saw the Facebook This story. person is real. But I will say, he's dead. Okay, well, he's someone's got to be dead. The cross-dressing ex-husband Yeah, dead? he's dead, yeah. Oh. Now, yeah. what does that have to do with Chaz? Is it because of the name change? I'm just going to... Chaz Welcome cha- to my life. Chaz, ch- Chaz changed his name mid-adulthood. Even when, I think it was like two years ago he went, I'm not going to be Charlie anymore. I'm Chaz. But why the Chaz. extra Z? Because uh, it's hip. It's rock. Oh, okay. That's got what it. I think. Uh, yeah. Please take me away from this. Um, <laughs> you know what? Let's Everybody here saw your monkey brains, so you so, can hush. That's true. That's true. Um, can we? I didn't put this on the list because I forgot about them. Because I, but I was reminded of a flash of Lacey and Antoine, the the kind of oh. cougar who who the little cougar who could. Yeah. Um, Lacey, I don't even remember her right now. She's the one who in the in Snohomish. Uh, oh, and Antoine, yeah, the young guy yeah, yeah, who. Yeah. On, a, on Twitter, someone said he had founding father hair, mm-hmm. and Amish. I lost my shit. He does. Yes. Amish. Yeah. Someone put him on a dollar bill, and I peed my pants. Amish hair. I, it looks just <laughs> like Jefferson. I, and I was How trying to figure out if he was hot or not, because I have terrible taste. Same. You do. Um, same. I, me and you, Mary Payne, we can't figure out if people are hot. Jake's attracted to, to a lot of guys on Lalu, Mary Payne. It's probably It's a me real too. bad thing. Aaron, and, what, I guess we just have the good in. choices. Antoine, yeah, we have different choices on the we podcast. Have different choices. Antoine, yeah. to me, looked like he was straight out of Breaking Amish. Yes! So he yeah. Was, yes. Yeah. yeah. 
Just minus the, the little hat. Yeah, yeah I agree. That's that. kind of hot. It looked like though, he just took right? it off because his hair was like molded he just, that yes, way. Yes, yes. He had yes, just yes, come yes. in from a shunning, from like a two and a half year shunning. I don't shunning. enjoy a face tattoo, but without that, he would be kind of cute. He does, I, yeah. I haven't had to no. look at his teeth quite yet, but they seem all right. I this, think the face tattoo says real ones, so does. that makes you feel better. Speak, yeah. S- speaking of teeth, what do you think about Rick and Ray Dean? <laughs> I think she been, she's been on the methamphetamine. That is a, tra- a tragedy. And here's what we say on our podcast. We make fun of a lot of mouth holes. And we can if they're, if they're assholes. And Ray Dean's an asshole. She's an asshole. She's an asshole. She's an asshole. So we can make fun of her terrible teeth. And she didn't, but she's out here just not giving two shits. I mean, she's like smiling. She's, she's living her best life on that she's 48 living. hour she was out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She will break yeah. that broom and... Shank you. She will, she will shank her brother with the she broom will. in a minute. She'll be like, no big deal. Like, you know, like yeah. everybody fights with their brother, like with a broom. Yeah. Everybody, everybody stabs, stabs their, their brother style. with a Just, broom, mm, right? Yeah. Twinkling her nose. Um, yeah. And do you know, my favorite part is how the family were like, when they, when they were talking to Kay at Thanksgiving, the whole family was like, hey, Kay! <laughs> Poor it's Rick. It's so good to see you. Up on the little box. See, I have sympathy for Rick, and Poodle doesn't. I still think he's going to wind up being gross. No, no, they no, all no, are. No, no, Maybe I just hate I feel sorry gross. for him. What do you do Why? He's had 300 women. 300 women? He's had a good run. <sighs> no one goes I on know, this I show a good so. person. But he's got all those biker Let's friends. Let's reiterate. But he's got all his biker friends, and yeah. they're all... I don't know. Maybe maybe Black and White Cookie. I think Black and White, who we called Haley from, the, from Love, Love During Lockup. Black and White we, Yeah, we got that. We... <laughs> I, I really think Black and White Cookie was a good person. I do, um, too. And... I mean, like... Not a lot I mean, rolling around. I don't think there's a lot going on there, I don't think she ever passed an so SAT, did. but she was a good person. <laughs> let's, let's be honest. She didn't even get ninth grade achievement test, but she's a good person. Exactly. Bless her. Exactly. She meant well, and she bought her, her she, house for her and that boy whose name was... Hendrix oh, Jen. Hendrix Jen. She painted her Jen. nails uh, yeah. Jen. black and white to match both sides of her hair. She uh-huh. did. As we have her house did. better As be black did. and white, or yeah. I'm not. It better be um, black and white. What about... Uh, uh, the trio of Kevin, Curtis, and Tiffany. <laughs> that was some crazy shit. My favorite. That, was some that crazy guy shit. got his lights punched out with his hands behind his back, and he literally woke up and didn't know what year it was. And he did then, not. and then Kevin almost ran him over. He was like, Kevin, Kevin, like, never, hey, Kevin never had even one leg. A cigarette. Never like, even I asked kind it. Of, I kind, that's this horrible. is Kevin rolling back. Watch out! Watch yeah. out! Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> the guy's head is right here, and the guy's like. I don't. He didn't know his name. He's like, are you gonna let me back up? And there's a Texas waffle in his console. Yeah. He's... <laughs> and there must have been syrup everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. 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 And he just moved a full container store for this chick, like right. from point to point. I mean, I kind of a uh, little bit of respect to that Kevin could actually almost run over I agree. the person he just. Y'all, I mean, that's with the that, leg out and that a is leg. like for 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 Ooh. women who are here, and if you watched it with your significant other male. He rewound that part like 11 times, right? My, You're trying my to boy figure out did. how that did that was, happen. He did. My partner that did. Was, that was when he's like, oh! He literally that took was the when remote he from up. me. I, I recorded with uh, our really good buddy, Keisha, from a Libra Lou- the Libra Lounge with Keisha. If anyone listens to her, if you don't, you would love her. And she did a Love After Lockup recap with me for this particular episode. And she goes, he got the K knocked out of Curtis. He's just Ertis. Yeah, he's just Ertis. <laughs> He's yeah. just Ertis now. Yeah. Ertis. Ertis. You can take Ertis you know, you right into the halfway house and be like, Ertis, you live here now. And he'd yeah. be like, okay. And he'd be like, okay. Yeah. Because he was. That, okay. That was. That's I mean, true. It was. They were like, oh, we took his keys because he's trying to drive. I was like, trying to drive? He doesn't even <laughs> he's not know like, what a car excuse- is. Like, he went to sleep. That was With awful. That was scary. He just, didn't remember what happened. No. The security guard bent down and just started doing 10 count or something. <laughs> It, it was unbelievable. I couldn't even believe it. And then I was like, oh, it's Friday night. It's WeTV. I can't believe yeah, I'm watching it. Um, but y'all. Incredible. And Tiffany's a monster. Um, oh, yeah. She Because is. she sat there and says, it's my day of my release and this is what happens. I when wonder she just why walked, that happened. Oh. She, had, she had no idea why that she, would happen. I don't know. And she yeah. does it with like a, she's like, oh, this kind of stuff just happens to me. To her. <laughs> oh, to it her. just happens. I don't know why. Every time when I get out of the halfway house, this happens to me. Ernest is over here with brain damage, and she's like, 
I, can't I guess I'll this. take that other guy with the questionable hair. <laughs> She's like, I gotta do me. I gotta do me, y'all. The hottest piece of ass in Arlington, Texas. That oh. Kevin. Everybody wants him. I'm I like, need more of his Kayla. ex, Kayla. I need Kayla that. Kayla versus Tiffany. Who wins? All day. Kayla. Kayla. Kayla all day. All Kayla. day. I'm aware that Tiffany's been locked up. Kayla, you can tell she's got some ninja moves. She's yeah. got Kayla ninja and moves. Kevin versus the whole room. She has no fucks to Kayla has, and Kevin. Uh, uh, Kayla has no nothing left to lose. No. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold, hold on. I'm getting... Oh, hold on. Um, I'm getting a psychic message. What do you think about Indy and Harry? <laughs> oh. You know... I want to just say one thing about them. They were they were super compelling last season. Mostly, I'm waiting for Yolanda to come back oh, all and of us are, pull yeah. and all pull, of us are. pull her aside and to pop up on Harry like that in that car that with the hood. Yeah. And but we watching Harry go through all this and watching him get out and watching him just not be ready, like a like like a frightened animal wanting to either attack. Or and it is something to watch. I'm I'm moved every time because and every time he's like, you don't realize how overwhelming this is. Mm -hmm. And he's I'm not saying he's a poet, but he says these poetic things. And so yes, I I'm, I have bad taste in men. I know what you're thinking. He, he, yes, I'm attracted to him. Fuck me. I am too. I, I'm wow. very attracted me, to Harry. No, wow. Harry Payne. No, wow. No. At least level up to brother Indy. The oh, if brother we were Indy. All in, if we were all in high school together, the four of us would go to a Poison concert and only you and I would go home, Aaron. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that just read you I for think, filth, I'd Mary I'd be with Payne. some guy who said he was the bass player. Yeah. He wouldn't even be the bass player. Yeah, he just would have long hair and looked like one of them and you wouldn't have cared. Maddie and I would have gone home and done some latch hook. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 yeah. What's that? I would have helped you organize your what caboodle. I did. Yeah. And I would have... Exactly. I would have thanked you. We would have played girl talk. Cookies. Would have been great. Um, let's talk about we we all we've been saying this, but Kayla and Martel, that's the one where we're just like, run, run as you know, fast as you can, because you know, he doesn't even like you. He just wants to control her. And yeah, her, he does. And, and her stove and her laundry. Uh, yeah. Sissy yeah. reminded me too and said, you know, because I was like, I felt for him because he was incarcerated so long. She's like, you have to remember, he said, I came from a very well-to-do family, um, and he's a spoiled bride. I think he's an he's an asshole. I think he is a, a he, textbook I think a asshole. I think he's a, a, a spoiled brat. I think he's a kingpin. Yeah. That's why he said he never had to ask for money from her because he was getting money from plenty of females. And some people on the outside were like, what does that mean? Like, how come he, everybody's hurting for money when they get out? Not, not Martell. He's doing just fine. He's like, oh, the 365th person is calling me right now. It, what, as soon as he gets out in the car, well, he doesn't do appreciate the apartment. I don't think he appreciates the apartment because somebody else can set him up in one immediately. Yes. And point. Yes. And yes. also, yeah. he's on the most righteous, bomb-ass chronic <laughs> that has ever been invented. Because he's just like, it's pretty high. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty high a lot. He rivals uh, Michael of Michael and oh, Sarah. Yeah. Sarah. Yes. Sarah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Cabbage Sarah. Patch. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Yeah, we but love Sarah. Mar Martel and Mother Martel are kind of in on it together. Not I think so, it, too. But oh. I, don't trust, I don't trust Mother Martel no. either because she's like, oh, Kayla's like family. You know, we're here for her. She moved down here because Kayla moved from Pittsburgh. Yeah. She hasn't even to told Atlanta. her brothers in 13 years. And that she's dating Martel, I don't understand that. And, and she lost both of her parents. Yes, and the producer said, if Martel was cheating on her, what would you say to that? And mom was like, Yeah. Well, well, I, I don't do uh, my you mother, know how boys are. My mother would say, <laughs> if Matthew was cheating on him, I would rip his ass a new one. <laughs> yeah. That's what my mother would yeah. say, and she would school me. For, Mine would take me to church. Yes, yes, that's what a mother should do. I don't yeah, care how old your kid is. Even if he's grown, if he's acting like a fool, you tell him what's up. Uh, shall we finish up with the cringiest of cringe? I watch through my fingers, Tater and Chance. <laughs> oh. That is not, I am not mispronouncing her name. We call her Tater. <laughs> because someone said that in our Patreon. <laughs> Y'all. Here's my grandpa's headstone. No, she literally said that. This yeah. man is a fucking 
monster. Oh, yeah. But you're, attra- but you're attracted to him. Yes, yes, of course okay. I am, Mary Me too, Payne. me too, yeah. me too, me too. He's yeah. hot. We were wooed he's by hot. him. We, yeah. Even Aaron, even he got me. Because Poodle and I were like, You know he's oh, hot. We, he's Brad we judged cousin. him wrong. We, we forgot that he robbed a bank just by smiling at a woman and convincing her to give him the money. That's oh my story. God, we are black and white cookie, but Mary Payne. You are, you are. We are, black, are and black and white cookie. But he did also rob a salon on the same street he robbed that bank. Because he only robs people on that one I street. I think he's just in the strip mall. <laughs> and it's at a strip mall he that he frequents. And he robbed them in bib overalls, a floppy hat, and long dreadlock uh, wig. Whoa. So I saw that, and I was like, yeah, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to go for Chance this time. Yeah, I'm not gonna I go for see that. His real name is Earl. It's Earl Pitt, cousin to Brad. It's official, like it's. it's His real name is Earl. It's no. not official, but we like to think it's official. Oh, no, Pitt. because they're in Missouri and Brad Pitt's from Missouri, so we're like, well, then of course it's true. Well, originally um, but he's Brad, actually from Florida. Well, actually, originally Brad Pitt's from Oklahoma. I still oh. don't know. I, I Brad Pitt was born in Oklahoma. We claim him. You, you claim, claim him. everybody. I don't claim you. That's fair. In South Carolina, we claim people like Vanna White, though, because she's from. <laughs> what has she done? The the re okay y'all got she did that in terrible terrible movie history. in the 90s Vanna White Mistress of the Night or whatever it was called What are you talking about Vanna That's... White's on Wheel of Fortune Do not come for Vanna White Did you okay. just did you just talk about did you just wait were you thinking Elvira I think you're thinking of somebody totally different Oh, oh. Those are not the same people <laughs> No like Vanna White turns the letters on Wheel of Fortune. Vanna White is a national treasure, and we will like take our jackets off and you know throw, throw fists over I Vanna saw White. Poodle's balls tonight. I can't think straight. Oh my god. I am. We all did. <laughs> we all did. <laughs> it was a public event. It was a public event. Let's move on. Let's move on. Chance on. is scary. Chance He's, is scary. Let's just agree yeah, on but that. The, the, the scariest thing is how he prowls around that house like a fucking tiger, like looking for something to pick at. Yep. It's so scary. It's so scary. He's, he actually scares me. Yeah. Like, scary. I mean, all haha aside, I agree. he actually no, scares me. No, it's dangerous. Watching him Absolutely really is, dangerous. Is not, yeah, it's if not you're going to get mad at somebody for I, not eating your meat lover's pizza with you, then uh, yeah. What else I are you going to get mad about? I need him to back about? away from the little children. Yeah, yeah are you going to fight with a, get upset at what a five-year-old says? Yeah, Ooh. and I need the Mommy crew to the stay there, and I need the crew to live there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll get my own house, and like, I'll make the rules. How about that? Oh. Great. How about that? And then we'll lock the door behind you. It's called we'll the Lock the door behind you. All right, everybody. That is Lalu. We're going to move on. That is Lalu, the best show on television. If right you're now. not watching, y'all, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> you're doing it um, wrong. We're going to get back to our the end of our like 90-day period cursed. Um, is, 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 is Rodney here for Murray and Murray's? It, it should be. We should have invited Rodney, Desiree. We should have. We have called him a, fla- a, a, a flailing homosexual. He so. is. You mean the one who wanted to Murray? Who wanted to marry Desiree. Desiree. Oh, he wanted to marry Desiree. Desiree. Yes, he, li- he does live here. I, I, know. Well, I don't think he would come on our show. Don't get me started. Desiree I have a would. feeling, well, and that, did you all cover that show? Did we what? Did y'all cover Marrying Millions? Yes, oh, yeah. of course. Oh, what what art? What absolute art? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What what acting? Yeah. What, what absolute uh, what bangs acting? on Desiree? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. With that was the something. with the rock and the full. Mm-hmm. That's like oh. comb. Yeah, mm-hmm. but she. That was all. I mean, do, Marrying Millions. What? What do we have? Two seasons, three seasons out of that. Three. We covered. We covered them all. I think. I think it's all. Bill, a blur. Bill Hutchinson ruined it. Remember? Yeah. Bill Hutchinson Rapist. Ruined Rapist. It Rapist for Bill everybody. Hutchinson. Yeah, he, uh, he ruined it with his raping, raping, rapey self. He's he's never gonna marry. Brianna, yep. retired waitress, 22. Um, no, excuse me. He'll be in jail. That's hostess. <laughs> it is hostess. Retired. Oh. It's hostess. Oh. Hostess. Retired hostess. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I, I, dare I you. can't believe I misspoke. Her I career, need that on a her shirt. Her career is besmirched. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she had a great career as a hostess. <laughs> hostess. And then she, she chose so, domesticity. She was Early so retirement. beautiful, too. She's one of those people like Jasmine that I can't quit staring at. She was so beautiful. And that crazy mom of hers. Hey, I got to go oh, yeah. pee. Y'all talk about Gino and Jasmine. Oh. Are you really like doing a... this? <laughs> Y'all, don't ever say I'm unprofessional. Um, it's almost like a real podcast. It's like I'm a real podcast. I, I, just yeah. say, I just say, don't ever say I'm unprofessional. I just basically showed my dick to everybody. <laughs> um, 
let's talk about Gino and Jasmine. Let's let's do a little bit of Panama, okay. Panama, um, and uh, uh, so they seem to have been finding love. Uh, he's going back. He hasn't talked about the prenup, but um, uh, but Jasmine will not react well to it. I have a feeling. Um, I have a think? question for you. What's yeah. your theory on? He said he went back to see her for the second time, and I know this was in the tell-all. He went back to see her this second time, and they only had sex one time in a month. That's, that's what she said. Uh, he ran out of Viagra. But he, he's buying it off the black market. It seems like he that's could just true. get some more. Hmm. Hmm. I, do you think he's cheating? No. No. <laughs> oh. I... I had not seen that on, and you look like Yanni. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. It doesn't look like a woman's wig. It just looks like, or like Kenny G. <laughs> it's Kenny G. <laughs> You're welcome. You need, you need bigger, you need like drag wigs, or they look like men. You know what? Mars have big heads. Thanks. <laughs> it kind or of like, does look like Jasmine Or like on the Captain table. Hook. It's a little Captain Hook. That's good. That's good. Yeah. He was gay. <laughs> and kind of weird. I like that you're playing with it, though, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to keep going. Anyway, uh, where did you notice at the very... They had that... She has these things that she reads in books. She's like, it's not that we love each other. Why should we be separated? It's enough that we love one another. Why does love have to be like this, Gino? Why does my heart have to be so, so beating so hard for Yo. you, Gino? And his reaction is like this. I, I know. I know. No, you don't know, Gino. I, I love you. I wish I didn't have to go back. Logo. I need to get a job. So he's not working, but he's he's like I'm I'm using my I don't have a lot of money right now. He's he's got the kind of David Tobo kind of vibe. Oh yeah, who never had any money. We're doing his season right now on Classless, y'all. And every time he's on screen, I'm thinking, and I know they're like royalty right now, him and Annie. But I'm like, we don't such understand. Such a fucking loser. I know, and I know he's like well liked, but every time he's I, like, I tell him now, "What are you doing with her? She's wonderful." I yeah. think I think Annie saved him. She did. I do. I think Annie saved David. I don't have to like him. She keeps him on TV because she's the she's the comedy. She knows she's funny. They she were yeah. funny she on that, co- that horrible she's cooking funny. show. They were the only one that was good. Yeah. Well, we didn't yeah. watch that. We, we 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 capped like three of them, and we made their dishes, and it was really exhausting. It was tired. Yeah. It was a lot. Do you th- okay, Gino, though, do you think he uh, really sent the perishable nudes? Perishable. Perishable. Pa- just, just, just topless. Perishable. Just they're topless. Perishal nudes. No bottoms. No to bottoms. To the X, or did he just, uh, it made a mistake and click the wrong button? No. I he think wanna, he definitely sent them. Why not? Okay. Um, yeah. On purpose. He's do a shitty think, person. Do y'all think he just clicked the wrong button? No. No, yeah, he sent them. I mean, he I'm is, sorry, ama- he is about my age, so that could have happened. He's he gross. Gotten confused. We, we, we clicked the wrong button. We clicked the wrong button. But we don't have any parachute. You know who clicked the wrong button? Jake, because his Instagram is hacked right now. <laughs> my Instagram got hacked. <laughs> We've got hundreds of messages from sissies going, oh my God, Poodle's Instagram is hacked because it was 2 a.m. And Jake said, but my friend messaged me last night and said, hey, I can't open this link. Can you? And he I literally have clicked Instagram on it. I Instagram messages from her before. He's like, all of us have from our friends. We all get those messages. So now his Instagram is hacked. Sorry. You're so, out there asking for Christmas presents like polls. Te amo. Te amo. Te amo. Yeah. Um, My favorite part is she's like crying. She's like, oh, Gino, Gino. But I will send you sexy videos. Will you send me will you some? you send me? I want the nudies. 
She just, wa- she just wants some collateral, duty. so she yeah. has something to do with Amen. Yeah. Amen. She's like, send me something, and then I'll show you what I can Yo, do with that she motherfucker. Is, oh, she, she is, is a savvy motherfucker. I love I her. I love her. This wig is better than hers on the telephone. <laughs> Says the loud voice. That which is, is true. true. This wig is better than hers on the telephone. It's true. It's true. I'm bringing you if I need a megaphone, <laughs> madam. <laughs> There you go. Love it. Um, oh I, I don't have much. I just, I, I just do want to do one, one little thing. I think it's time for another version of Reality Gaze Theater. Oh. Really quick one. <laughs> so. Let me go. This is my better yeah, side. This, is, this, happens at, this happens at the airport. Okay. This just, this is the most... Gino thing I've ever seen happen. So, okay. And see, it's going to be really hard Gino, to leave don't you. Leave me, Gino. It's going to be hard to leave you. Gino, I want your boss to empty in me, Gino. I, I she gotta said go, that. I didn't I, make that up. She said I got I got to go to the gate. Because Gino, Gino, I gotta, how can we be lovers if, if I don't, we can't if, be friends? If I, if, I don't get, if I don't get a seat... If I don't put no, my, Gino, how put can my we bag start there, over if the fighting never ends, Gino? I gotta go. I love you. Okay. <laughs> bye, Gino. Bye, Gino. Bye, Gino. Bye. So is this where I go? Yes, it's at the Ah. And sing. And sing. And sing. Y'all, it yep. was this. It was this really emotional moment, and he just stops and just goes. <laughs> is this where I go? He's like a little newborn hamster. I, it is. Like he a little, is a newborn little, hamster. Just, like just running on that wheel, but it not is on a wheel. Hard yeah, to just, watch his awkwardness sometimes. It. And he I hasn't enjoy watched it. it all yet, but boy, what Jasmine's saying on the tell-all is like. 90 day herstory. It's going to be, this is going to be canon, y'all. Yeah. She, um, she's, she's buying herself several more seasons. Oh, she, yes, she is. Oh, yeah. And she's I, not will, dumb. I will, I will watch, I will watch with Skitty Pop. She's a star. She's a star, and she is going to continue to be on. I hope she's still on the show. I hope she drags Gino along with her. Yes. And also drags him in general. <laughs> yes. Um, and yeah, I'm here for her. Can we go on to Do what you I've. Know? It's Ben and Mahogany. <laughs> okay. This is the... Ben and Mahogany. Master Pesa oh, of mahogany. the entire season. <laughs> Think where they took us, y'all. I still have to have context with this. There Think is where we started. We started with a catfish. Mm-hmm. We started with a man who was a minister. And then a health guru... And then he got bad Botox and a wonky eye. Yep. <laughs> yep. He, he did. No one's claiming to do that either. No, no, he, no, no company he, is claiming that. No, he said that, you know, he woke up one day and it was like that. And, you know, that's, Shut up. that's the story of my wonky okay, eye. Okay, okay, girl. Mm-hmm. Okay, you went to the That's med- what my dad would <laughs> say when he was cheating <laughs> on my mother. Mm-hmm. I woke up one day and it was like that? Well, when things looked awry. Oh. But... Right. No, but he, he got a group on and never do that for Botox. And they gave and they gave they they gave this man who has more audacity than Stalin ever had. Um, wow. to wow. That's the, that's the wow. first Stalin joke okay. of the evening. <laughs> that um, that was a that joke. <laughs> Even Stalin was like, that's a lot of that's a lot of balls on the okay. guy. Just but please. no, think about it. This is a lot of audacity. Oh, to yeah. and and so and it's that, but it's that evangelical breed where he can do anything he wants, and and, and women have to obey him. He yeah, and so is, yeah. I cannot with that. Yeah, kind of guy. I cannot. And Aaron is familiar. Oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> me, too, me too. And yep. he he triggers the fuck out of me. Mm. And then we not only had him, we were we're taken to an Airbnb, and we we meet a person who does not look like the pictures because <laughs> the pictures were of an anime character. We're aware. Sorry, I have to walk us through this because it still boggles my mind this was on television. 
these are my games yes. that I play. I play Scrabble this every is where night. I my surfboard. I also go surfing in the morning. <laughs> and then I put my twins to bed in their bunk beds. <laughs> and here's where you check in and you have to make sure you call the host. <laughs> I mean, never mind. Never mind. Yeah. It's a Keurig, not a slow drip coffee maker. <laughs> There's condoms for the last time someone was here. Right. Yeah. Unbe- unbelievable. I mean, I don't even understand where we were supposed to go from point A to point whatever we're at now. It, it is not, it is either planned out by it is planned out by geniuses or yeah. or I thought it was an, an old scary oil magnate who hated Christians who designed mahogany in a lab. <laughs> then hired parents who looked enough genetically like her because she's not their daughter, obviously, because there's no actual affection. It doesn't matter. They, okay. uh, rich people can do anything. Um, I think there's. I think there's a. Res- don't you think they favor? I thought they was like. It was, it's genetic saying. engineering. They okay. grew him in a lab. Genetic engineering. Okay. He's they, got to get serious. I think they're family, and they all just wanted Ben's liver. That's still what I say. Um, and that's what I say. That's why when they talk and she walks off, because it is. I don't want to say. Ben has a point. She puts on her blue coat, y'all. But her ben, gorgeous blue coat. But every time Ben tries to call her out on the fraudacity that she ha- she has done fraudacity, she immediately goes, I'm not talking to you. And you know she what, just leaves though? because she realized, and then she calls and she's like, we're not getting the liver. <laughs> and, she's like, and she calls her God bless you. God bless also, you. Also, he seems to have a drinking problem, so his liver's not going to be. Yeah. Oh. No. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? He no. was given he was given a tough drink by a homeless couple he was trying to help at the Red Roof Inn. Totally makes sense. Totally makes he sense. was roofied at the Red totally Roof. Totally makes he sense. He was roofied at the Red Roof. <sighs> that and his eye is because uh, he just woke up that way. But well, was it when he woke up, when his eye awoke, <laughs> he, he didn't know where he was. It's like it's the other eye that they've been looking for from that Hocus Pocus book. <laughs> so. It freaked me out when he was like opening the car door when she was in the car, oh. kind of leering over the car, like, I want to talk to you still. I want to talk to you still. My but heart. It, I need have to, to tell, tell you my heart. You my heart. And, but he, the, the thing about it is, where these two people, the worst part was they were just kind of sleepwalking through it at the end. We'd almost written this story and then everyone forgot to care at the last bit. Which is kind of everyone was. Tr- we were trying, and ma- even Mahogany's like, "Do we have to go through this again?" And she's like, uh, but "Do the- I have to show?" But even Ben is like, "Well, obviously, it's a case of maturity. Um, yeah. Don't know what else to say." Yeah, so says the man in a tiny cowboy hat, <laughs> with stri- bestringed, and, bestringed, and a local local garb that he was sold because someone saw him coming and yes. was like, "This guy needs to be humiliated." The legend of Curly's gold. Absolutely. Uh, yes. yes. He. The two of them slinging the word immature back and forth. Isn't right. it rich? It was hilarious. I was like, you're immature. No, you're immature. No, you are. No, That's what you, you both are. are. The and saddest I've... part to me at all was he never got to wear that shirt in Peru. He never did. It was for a nice dinner. He said, not nice going to wear dinner. this. Spilled he like, milk. He was like, oh, memories. Scrolling through the two pictures on his phone. <laughs> just back and he forth. Just got... Back and forth. <laughs> back and forth. You took That's two true. pictures. Two pictures. Yeah. My beautiful ah. mahogany. The train My beautiful mahogany. The station. <laughs> Let's just dance. Let's dance. Let's just dance. Uh, dance. I have a little, have a little uh, mini teaser for you. Yes. It's not over. Oh. oh! Aaron's got the tea. I'm telling you, y'all, this is the There's fucking more to Mona come. Lisa There's of more this to come. season. There's more to come. Uh, I, I'm, uh, There's more to come. Like more to come on more seasons? There's just more. Just more of them. Just more. Uh, and it's, yeah, I mean, they, they were sleepwalking and then somebody <laughs> woke them up at some point. I don't know. And made and propped them back up and made them tell us more of a story. Cause it's uh, kind of, <sighs> but I never, I mean, she seems 100% like she's acting in her own telenovela. Yes. And he's yes. not aware. That's he might yes, be aware. Yes. My yeah. father, what shall I do? Yeah. You must go what out and live, Mahogany. The Lord tells me he doesn't have the vitality for you. He has the good liver. hand acting. He has that's, the liver. That's exactly the, what it is. The liver spots upon his face tell me he is not your age. <laughs> <laughs> his stoop betrays his osteoporosis. 
oh, your water's spilling sugar. It's just water. It's not wine. We, that we got, is we exactly. Now, if Ben was here, he could probably now, change it. In, oh, si- in that's Seattle, exactly like a regular. In Seattle, I knocked over my drink all over the place, and the poor sound person went. <laughs> but no one really did anything. No one really did anything. <laughs> Nobody jumped up to save me. No, like, no one did anything. Um, I just there was one little spot at the end where I went. He said, "You know, everyone's two different people. The person online." and the real person. Do we know? And I went, this is the beginning of his sermon. He's going to preach about this. And it really creeped the shit out of me. And then I went, all of a sudden, I got chills because I thought, he's going to go around and give his fucking testimony about this and use it to to win people to Jesus, y'all. And I got sick to my stomach because I thought about it. I don't, but see... Yes. I don't even, that doesn't, if somebody wanted to give their testimony because they believe of their beliefs and they want to spread their beliefs. But this is what he's doing it for. But he's doing, no, I think he's doing his testimony. I think he's, I think it's all about of controlling her. I think I he's really doing think his that. testimony to troll the youth group. Yep. That he B- passed To fuck underage girls. And I will yeah. go there. Yep. No, yes, because yeah. he's got to think for women that are his daughter's he's age. He's like, wait, you're 22, not 23. That's I'm what horrified. bothers me is that he. <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> that he, yeah. I'm ho- like, I can't. I thought uh, you said you were 23 and a half. But you're almost 23. What? Yes, it bothers me that he takes something that a lot of people is, you know, do admirably and he perverts it. Well, and, yeah. and what you're shocked yeah. at is often what you're really, really fucking into. Oh, yeah. Like that just said he... a lot about you. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, but but did you, when he, he, he freaked out when her age, though, because he was on camera. Uh, and I think it would have been fine. Probably. It's totally oh, yeah. fine. It's literally like a difference of Yeah, he was like fine he, he was, the next day. He was like, you told me you were 24, and then later he says, she told me she was 23, almost 24. I'm like, no, you said 24. Who says 23 and a half? You're 53. <laughs> yeah. Turns, out she, turns out she was 22 and a half. A, You're a, 50, a, and a 53-year-old does not go, well, she's 23 and a half. You know, right. like, it's just, it's just yeah. weird all over. You know who's doing great, though? You know who's living her best life? Ex-wife of Ben. Oh, oh I love she her. Is. I can. Is. I. I hope and I pray that every Sunday night she's having a neighborhood gathering. Oh to watch my the show god! And just watching it go Let's down. Let's watch that again. And just like. Let's watch that again. You know what? Who wants a hot dish? Raise your glass to Ben's ex-wife. Oh. Here, here. Cheers, y'all. And, and with that, that's the podcast. That's the podcast. That's the show. Mary wow. Payne and Mary Aaron. Mary Payne and Aaron. Oh, my God. Oh, give a hand for Pink Shade here tonight. Oh, lovely. So great, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. What? No, that's for after. Okay, here. That's for after. Okay. We don't want to stand here while you fight. Should Bye. We? No, no, no. <laughs> Thank you, all again. We, uh, we hope you've enjoyed this little... <laughs> Little skit show. As, as my mother, Mother Poodle, says, you going to do your skit show? <laughs> yeah. you going to do your skit show, Jaybird? Um, my mother's like, just, just text me and let me know where you are so I can know where, how to send my prayers. Because I guess no where the sky... <laughs> it's true. It it's makes true. it better. Um, y'all, we, this has been a very, it's, this is such a, this is one of the biggest crowds we've had. So thank you. That means a lot to us. Um, I know we have, we have friends and family. Hope you're still family after the show. Um, y'all, we have in the audience, have you heard me talk about my friend that I went and coached her pageant in East Texas? My friend, Sarah she is a United States Marine, and she is here tonight, and she is in the audience. Yay! Miss Commerce, everybody. My friend, Sarah. Woo! That would have been Mr. Matthew Marr. I knew. <laughs> it's true. I knew, she was the one I was going to marry, and I knew that my mother finally loved my current partner because that's when she stopped talking about Sarah. So now she loves him. So anyway, I just um, yes, thank you for being here, Gary. We're gonna go a couple a, a couple cues we're jumping the earlier, run, Gary, because we forgot um, shit. And but we're just gonna uh, well, just closing to remarks. Thank some people, um, the staff at the DC Winery. Thank here, you so much, City Winery. 
um, our our booking person, Kristen, who does everything for us, yes. got us here. Who and I want to say one thing with Kristen. Kristen booked us immediately when we had both had Miss Cova. Yeah, she and like so, she said, I'm on it. I got it. And so now we're just doing the show on Passover and Easter. It's fine. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't watch know out that. for the baby Jesus comedy hour because oh, it's coming. No. no. No, it's not. No, it's not. Uh, we also I'm want to thank. I'm gonna be real bad. Oh no. Uh uh-uh. uh. We're not. I want to thank Sarah and everyone at Acast. Uh, Pink Shades with Acast as well. So this was an Acast family show tonight. Yay. So we want to thank them. Last, I want one other person to say, because we could have Jackie, Ma- Jackie, we- I almost said my den mother. Jackie Weissman, our den mother in the Facebook group, is here tonight, y'all. Woo woo, Jackie. Again, the reason we cover 90 Day Fiance is because five years ago, Jackie Weissman said, you guys should talk about 90 Day Fiance, and that's why we're here tonight, because of Jackie. We yes. appreciate you very much. And her husband, Sam, we love you both. Um, we also want to thank our sissy team, Christina, who made that fantastic video we saw earlier. Um, she does all our Instagram memes as well. Caitlin, who does our social media, who's going to get Jake's Instagram unhacked, hopefully. I'm just going to call Caitlin and say, can you handle this? Y'all, if, if, I send, if I'm offering you Bitcoin, don't, don't buy it from me, because I don't know what it is. I don't know what that is. To, to je- Talk to me. There you go. Oh, there you hey, go. hey, Megaphone, what you doing? <laughs> Love it. I'm losing my voice, too. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, <laughs> and, of course, the goddesses of Pink Shade, Aaron Martin, and Mary Payne Gilbert. Mary Payne Gilbert. We love them very much. We are here because of them supporting us. Um, so and that. that's the great thing about the 90 Day Podcast community, you guys. Everyone pitches in when, when people have to be away or when things happen. And they helped us get, you know, popular and get on people, other people's pop shows. And we, we want to give the same thing back to them. Back so if you them. don't listen to Aaron and Mary Payne, you they should. have great takes. And you saw tonight how funny and how they're smart wonderful. and astute they are. Um, uh, we want to say, too, if you're doing the VIP, they're gonna, once we get finished, that's going to be kind of in that adjacent room and you have your little wristband so you can make your way in about 15 or 20 minutes after the show. We'll see you there. Um, and lastly, this show is dedicated to you guys. So you're the best listeners you we are. could have ever had. You've changed our lives. We're out here on tour because of y'all. It's true. Um, Cubicle and, Warrior no more. So thank no. you. Y'all are wonderful. And so in closing, we hope you've been able to forget your troubles this evening. Um, we're, we're not out of this mess that we've been in for two years, but we can kind of see daylight. Um, so if we all keep our heads down, start being hopeful, and be, have gratitude. It's going to be different six months from now and a year from now. We just want to say stay hopeful. Have your hope. Find your happy. And keep, keep the, the fuck, fuck going, going queen. queen. We love you very much. God, Gary's quick on those cues, and I love it. So long, sad times. Go long, bad times. Free of you at last. Howdy, gay times, cloudy, gray times. You are now a thing of the past. Thinking about seeing your junk right now. No, yet. No, no. Do I not know this song yet? Forget your troubles, come happy on, days. get happy. Ah, here again. We're gonna chase all the your skies cares above. Ah, clear again. Shout hallelujah, come so on, let's get sing a song happy. Here again. We're headed for happy the judgment. here day. again. The sun is shining all Come on, together. Get happy. Shout it now. The world is waiting. There's no one who can head. doubt it now. Shout hallelujah. Some Come on, let's sing get a song happy. about it now. We're going to happy the days are here again. the river soon your cares will all be gone there'll be no more from now on from now on come on get the trouble come on days. get happy uh, here again we're gonna chase all Sky your cares with love all the here again Come on, let's sing a song of cheer again. 
Happy times. Happy times. Happy nights. Happy nights. Happy days. Ah, here. Sing it with us. Ah, again. Good night, DC. Good night, we DC. love you all. Be safe. Thank you, thank you, sissy. Thank you, guys. Thanks again, Gary. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Mary Payne and Aaron. Thank you, City Winery. Thank you, DC. Bye, all. Love you very much. Bye. We'll be back.